something that is very entertaining. Definitely good teams, both very good teams here. But right now, it looks like Cryptic is uh, is definitely is definitely holding it dominant. So we're gonna see here. It looks like Clean Kid is uh, eating a sandwich, not playing really. So let's go check Ninja out. Ninja playing the Sky Bridge again. Uh, definitely a good strat. He knows that they're gonna be adopting strategies this time. So he's not getting challenged right away, which is, I think, pretty proper. LGD really, really doesn't, shouldn't be challenging him right away. Let's see who's over here. We got Physical. Physical playing the low route. Goes down, but he's most likely going to get picked up by his boy up on top. He's going to check that out. We got Gotti here going to go for that revive. Pick him up through the grenade. Got his boy back, and now he knows that there's at least two there. So he's going to play this flank route. And this is something I want to see. I want to see if Gotti has the ability here. He's going to play it pretty passive. Going to play it a little, a little bit more structured. He knows he's got a guy back. He doesn't know exactly where he's going to be. So let's see. He's just around that left corner right there. He, he thinks he sees him. He thinks he knows. There. He takes Ninja down. He's got the flank. He's going to get shot in his back, though, if he's not quick about it. He's got to turn around. He heard the revive. He definitely heard, he heard the revive. And he gets taken down. Unfortunate right there. So we got a 1-1 spread. Looks like physical goes down. Let's see what John Boy's doing. John Boy's playing this left out flank. Something very interesting. Gonna hop in with Battle TR. Currently in a gunfight with Zeno. Takes him down. So we got another 4v2 situation right here. John Boy out on that left flank. Jehu, J Cash still in this game. Let's see what LGD can do. Jehu definitely on the back flank right now. Has two guys right next to him. He's got one guy to his left. He hears the the clean break, and uh, Dirty D is just the, the God's gift to Warrior, so. There we go. Cryptic going to take the quick 3-0 up. We're going to see how this is going, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like uh, Cryptic so far taking the taking the clean win. So uh, this map is is very entertaining, but you can see right here from just the just the spread, just look like Battle TR basically just putting putting Cryptic there on his back, but he's definitely getting help from from Ninja and Dirty D. But let's not forget that uh, that Gotti and Jehu are still in this game. LGD is a good team. They they're very they're very aggressive. They're experienced. They've been in tournament situations before. At least some of them have. So they definitely know how to react to a situation like this. I, I definitely have a feeling that LGD is not out of this yet, and Cryptic still has to play this game, so we'll definitely see it. What I want to see, if, if any teams make more use of this right side here, this is something that is pretty much open. I saw John Boy kind of playing this route. He was kind of sitting right over here, taking the peak in the mid. That's definitely a very good strategy, so we'll go ahead and see it right now. Jehu J Cash and the rest of LGD is on the defensive. So let's go ahead and check it out. We're gonna hop right in. And let's see how um let's see how LGD maintains the sky bridge. Right away, not being very aggressive on the sky bridge, only sending one person there, it looks like. And the gunfights are gonna be spread out a little bit to the left. Let's see, John Boy definitely sees and knows he's got a guy over there on that left side. And as you can tell, if you look at the setup right here, you can definitely see they've got the uh, the mighty duck. A v formation going on. I don't know if Coach Bombay is back there coaching this team, but you can definitely see the V formation. Let's hop in with Jehu J Cash. Definitely in the middle gunfight here. He's dropping back because he knows he needs the support from his teammate. Very make, making very good use of his cover, but this is a very interesting strategy right now. You can definitely see the V. I really like it. They're still they are the aggressors in this situation. However, this definitely has turned into a a search and destroy setup. So right now we're kind of just paused up. Uh, teams are just posting up, taking shots, and this is very interesting because there you go, J Jehu J Cast taking the first kill on Battle TR. Simcoli going down as well, so it looks like LGD is up too. Jehu's going to make a rush here on Clips, see if he can get him out of the head glitch, and unfortunately he cannot, cannot get him. We still have John Boy up on this left flank fighting. Taking shots at Dirty D, and looks like Jehu J Cast they're going to make a rush here. Ninja's up on the Sky Bridge taking shots. He's going to. He's not going to get Zeno, unfortunately. It's all up to Dirty D in a 1v4 situation. Can he do it? He's dropping back to his base. So this would be the time now if uh, basically just to rush him. You know, they have really no opportunity. It's a 4v1. Dirty D is a great player. He's definitely very good. He has the Warrior Internet's ability to do something like this. But unfortunately, Jehu is going to get him. So like I said, LGD is definitely in this game. Definitely looking good. I really enjoy the fact that LGD can just bounce back from a 3-0 sweep just like that. And they're going to give us something to watch here. 
like I said again, this is just one of those maps that if you saw the Coach Bombay setup, like I don't I don't know if that's okay if I quote that right now. I'm not trying to ruin anyone's childhood, but basically they were set up in this V formation, and I was just waiting for the duck call. Like I really was. I, I don't know. I, I don't I didn't see it, but I could have sworn I saw a V on the mini map. So let's see it again. Let's hop in with Crips cryptic clips right away and see their setup but as you can see most of the guns that i've seen people run and, and teams run have been acrs uh, ac52s um and then of course the, the scar h but you see a lot of very interesting setups so you see crips right away gonna gonna play this a little bit more passively he knows he's got guys in his in his area so let's see what he does right here so you can see with the setup again, you see that V formation coming from LGD, which in this situation are the blue guys. Cryptic Clips here in the middle, close to the A arm. And I believe that is Jehu J Cash making the play on the other side. He takes him out right away. And that was Jehu J Cash playing the mid. Knows he's got a guy there, sees the guy to the left, but he's going to make the push here on this guy on the right. It's a Sim Coli. He's getting shot from his left. He's got the grenade in front of him. And that was a great grenade from Sim. So let's go ahead and see... What we got uh, John Boy here still playing this left side, being pretty passive. Knows that guy just went down. We're in a 3v2 situation here. We got Zeno pushing up on the front. Looks like he's going to be in the action. Has a guy to his left. Let's see what he does. 1v1 situation. That Scar H is just going to decimate people up close. That thing just does way too much damage. Not something that it's going to see. This guy's going to run for the revive. And perfectly played by LGD. We got a good game here. Got a good tie game. I really am enjoying this right now. This is going to be entertaining as all hell. Taking a sip of the, the soda there. All right. So let's see it again. So we got a, we, we're pretty much looking at a tie game right now. Uh, all Cryptic really has to do is take this next round uh, to win the series. But we could be looking at a first round tie, which is definitely something we want to see. Let's let's hop in with Jehu J Cash. Definitely someone who's been doing uh pretty well in this whole series but look at Zeno and Gotti both dropping Zeno has yet to die in this series and uh, unfortunately Battle TR who is doing really well is, is kind of on ice right now so we'll see how they react to it let's hop in with uh let's hop in with Gotti and see what he's doing Gotti's playing this this left flank and as you can see on the far left now they have actually moved that guy up and you can see Cryptic is playing much much closer together they're playing much, much more centered. Definitely something that is is something we want to see in the sense that you can see that they're all kind of grouped up over here by this B arm, and they're and they're set. They're playing much closer together. Maybe it's because they feel that they need those team shots in a sense to to stay in this game right now. You got four of them very in very very close proximity, both playing the buddy system right there, playing the sky bridge, and there should be should be a force somewhere there i don't even know where he is he's he's ratting away somewhere and playing the cheese the cheese setup but as you can see we got a we got a push up over here john boy playing this left route and this is something i wanted to see this this is this is an open route he's got a guy in front of him he knows he's there let's see if he grabs him that's an easy kill he picks him up right away excuse me so it looks like lgd is up one two now we got a 2v2 situation here Jehu J Cash pushing up here, pushing the mid. Knows he's got guys somewhere in this area. Doesn't know exactly where. He hears him. He's playing it out. We're gonna hop in with. Oh, looks like physical just went down. Zeno sees it. Zeno's gonna go for it. Again, playing it, playing it very smart. Knows he's got a guy pretty much right here. He also has a guy to his right. He sees clips. And the smart thing to do right now would be to back off, in my opinion. You, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. He's not gonna challenge. He doesn't. He knows he's got another one potentially there. He's going to wait for the challenge on Clips. He's going to take Clips out. And now he knows he, he doesn't. I don't think he knows he has a guy on his right. Taking the shots on him. And unfortunately, he gets him. So it looks like Dirty D is going to be able to get this revive on Clips. Get him back in the game. He's got two guys pushing him. He knows he's got one in front of him. Definitely two in front of him. Let's see what happens here. I don't think he sees him right around this corner. I think they might know. Oh. There you go, Dirty D definitely showing that he's an impressive player right here. This is it right now. we got a 2v2 situation. If there's a minute 44 on the clock, so that time is becoming a factor. I believe if Cryptic gets smart, they should play next to each other. They're playing a little bit separated, in my opinion. Jehu J Cash and John Boy next to each other right now. And we're going to see a little bit of a lull in the combat. Both both sides not being aggressive, not really playing it. There's not much to do. John Boy's kind of sitting around. They're, they're so close to each other, but yet again... Without this, they, they don't exactly know what's going on. There's a minute left on the clock. Essentially, they could play the timer and waste it right now, but I believe they're playing it pretty smart. 
he sees him up on that head glitch. He knows he's there, so he's going to take. The, he's going to back off. I believe he called him out. He definitely called him out. He knows he's there. Let's see what Jehu Jehu does in this situation. He knows he's coming. He's coming over. He's like, okay, I believe he's going to flank him now. And this is the situation you want to see. He's definitely looking in that direction. So we're going to see it here if the flank is real. This is a situation in which Dirty D has got to be playing his right and his left. You can see him on his minimap. He is looking over in that direction right now. It is Clips. He sees Clips, and now would be the time to rush him. He's going to make the play, and I believe he's going to get him right here. No problem. Now it's a 2v1 situation. We've got Dirty D versus Jehu J Cash and John Boy OPP. So let's see what's going on. He's got a guy around his left. He knows he's there. He saw him shooting earlier. He's going to play the corner. He's going to pick up John Boy. We've got a 1v1 situation with 21 seconds on the clock. I, it's over. It, there's no way. They don't have enough time to defuse. But they do not have enough time to arm the crate, unfortunately. So it looks like... It looks like... Oh, Cryptic is going to go ahead and run away with this first match win. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have uh, we've seen it right there. That looks like a a set right there. But uh, but like I said, we definitely see some very interesting game types. You see the LGD setting up in a very interesting strategy, and you can see that they're they're still contenders. Even if you go down 3-0 in the beginning of a game like that, you can still play it out. Let's go ahead and take a look at look at Zeno here, five and one, just definitely playing to the the caliber we expect right now battle tr going off on the first map but unfortunately on this on the second set he went 0 and three it happens to some of the best players in the game so it's unfortunate to see but damn damn fine work on both teams we're hopping into a new map now we're going to see how this goes out 4-2 win for cryptic and we're hopping into rogue transmission another very interesting map not one of my favorites personally but something that i think we're going to see another good game between two very good teams two very dominant teams so we will see we will see ladies and gentlemen so this is another one of those maps that like i said i when i play a defuse and Let's just say uh, I'm a very old player, right? I come from the uh, the glory days. I hated this map. And this is just one of those maps that you're going to see teams set up in very interesting situations. You're probably going to see some teams set up on the A side and some teams set up on the B side. Now, unfortunately, for this game type, since Defuse is broken in the sense, you won't even see teams pick up the bomb. So let's go ahead and hop in with Dirty D because Dirty D is just a nasty player. Clutched the game for the last round for Cryptic. So let's see what he's got. Already you see LGD playing the, the A side heavy. Four on one set. Something very interesting. Cryptic Clips already going down. And there you go. You see they're picking up that picking up that kill right away. LGD is already down too. We got a 5-3 situation right now. Let's see what uh, Cryptic Clips playing. Sim Coli goes down. Still going to play this top route. Has no one up here yet. There's definitely guys across. Let's see if he knows in the stairwell right now. John Boy's going to pick up a kill on Battle TR. Still a very interesting game here. Let's hop in with 3D playing this, playing this tower route. And I believe Cryptic Clips is the last one up over here. He knows he has two guys in his area. Let's see how he plays it. He got one guy coming up the stairs right now. He's gonna get into a 1v1 with Zeno. Zeno's not paying attention. Gets him right in the back. So it looks like we got one more person over there, I believe. Is LGD physical? We got a 1v1 situation coming up here with LGD physical and Cryptic Clips. I believe Cryptic is gonna know he's coming. He definitely hears him. They definitely saw each other. And again, that Scar H just proving its dominance in close range, even against an ACR. So we have a 2v1 situation here early in the game. But like we saw in the last game, Dirty D is not a player to just pass him by. He's not someone that can be easily taken down. If uh, if LGD was smart, they would 2v1 him right now. And it looks like that's exactly what they plan to do. Let's see how this plays out. He's got John Boy right in front of him. He's going to pick up John Boy. Uh, Physical is going to make the move now. Top over to Physical, see what he's doing. And he's going to play it passively, 215 on the clock. Let's see how it goes. He's he's dropping a little bit deeper. I don't know about this. Let's see what's going on. Kind of playing it out. He, I don't think he knows. I, I don't know if they know where each other are exactly. So let's see how let's see how hide, the game of hide and seek cat and mouse go right now. I don't know who is the cat or who is the mouse, but I like cheese. 
So we'll see how this goes. Again, LGV, LGD Physical, just sitting back, kind of chilling. He's probably making a sandwich or something, composing his memoirs, doing something very obviously important on the field. He's going to run out this left route, play this wooden stack. I don't know. I don't know exactly how you would play this. There's a minute 36 on the clock. One of these teams is going to have to get this bomb eventually. Uh, Dirty D is even going to have to make a play for it. And I think that's exactly what Physical is doing. He's just running out the clock right now. And this is probably a very smart play. He's just waiting for him to pick up the bomb. Because all he really has to do is, is kind of just stay alive. Now, I think they're, they're so close to each other, it's, it's unreal. It's absolutely unreal. Dirty D, again, has no idea where he is. Realizing now that he's going to need to make a play for the bomb if he can't find this guy. So let's see what he does here. Yep, that's exactly where he's going now, making a play for the bomb, but Physical, unfortunately, not looking that same direction. But the second he picks up the bomb, Physical is going to know exactly where he is for the rest of the time, which is unfortunate. There's 55 seconds on the clock. Dirty D could use that to his advantage. All right, so Physical immediately knows where he is. He's going to make for the B play. Physical knows that. So let's see who can get there first. Definitely, he has to arm. He has no choice but to arm this. So let's see what happens. Physical is taking his sweet time jogging to this flag right now. He's caught in the open. Going to get the arm, it looks like. But I don't think it matters. The timer, I'm pretty sure. What's the timer on the defuse bomb? Is it is it 45 seconds or something? I don't know. I don't know what the timer is for the bomb, but I believe it's, I believe it's 45 seconds or a minute or something. If someone could correct me in chat, that would be great because I don't know exactly what it is. But, uh, not gonna lie, kind of a ratty strategy. It's kind of, kind of super ratty. If you don't learn by 45, alright, there you go, right there, ladies and gentlemen. So, I guess Physical played it pretty smart. He just said, I'm a rat, and he's gonna hang out in the corner of the map, and he knew that all he had to do was sit there, basically. So, I guess, good play, good play from LGD, you're gonna take that round right there from them. So, I believe we're looking at a 1-1 tie, something very, very interesting. So, we got two good teams here playing it out. Let's hop in with Jehu J Cash, someone I like watching very much. Someone who's been very entertaining so far and has been very crucial. I would say that the two very crucial players on this team so far on, on, on both sides would be uh, Dirty D and Jehu J Cash. And it would look here that Dirty D is carrying again up on top with a uh, good 200 points or a good 2-0 and physical up there too. So let's see how they play it out. Let's take a look at the at the setup. One guy's down. Oh my god, he is already down. Physical kind of playing it out. Sees one guy. Sees two guys in front of him. Throws a grenade. Sees what's going on. He's got a 2v1 potentially. The grenade is there. He's got Sim Cole lying in front of him. Kind of just shooting. Let's see what happens here. Potentially potentially make the play. Zeno's making the move up there. Zeno's going to take out Sim Coli. So that's uh, it's another situation where they're evening out the roster. Physical's going to take out Ninja. And there we go, right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's a that's a three-two set right there. They've got one more person coming over. I believe it is Dirty D from Cryptic gonna make the play over here. He has a three v one potentially in front of him. Doesn't know exactly where these guys are, but he's gonna play it pretty smart. He's gonna go up here. He's gonna check it out. So Battle TR can get some spots on these guys. Maybe get some callouts. He'll be in a better situation. So it looks like Battle TR takes down one more. So we got a two v two situation here, looking pretty good. Battle TR in a in a gunfight. He sees physical right there, kind of avoids it. Let's see, what physical, let's see how physical is going to play this. Physical knows he's up there. He's going to play dirty D, get some shots on him. He's very, very weak. Both of them are weak. Going to get the grenade. Battle TR making the proper play, but unfortunately can't go through with it. So we have a 2v1 situation again here. He got dirty D versus physical and Zeno. And he gets them both. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Dirty D showing again why he is the warrior of Battlefield. A great player regardless of the situation he is in. Takes them both out, rushing right at him. And unfortunately, that was just a situation of improper lineups on LGD's part. But then again, Dirty D is just one of those players that's just good. He performed well at a GameStop tournament. I believe back in back in uh, BC2, he won the, I think it was either 10K or, or it was the Battle of the Baddest for uh, Bad Company 2 back on the original Xbox, Xbox 360. And uh, he got the opportunity to play for Sons of Anarchy, which was a championship team for many seasons back on Game Battles. So he's definitely an experienced player. Let's hop in with him right here and see how this is going. 
So we've got Dirty D playing up the mid. He's going to play this tower again. This seems to be his p position pretty well. Gets that, that spot. He's got a very good shot on his hand. Let's hop in with Cryptic Clips. Cryptic Clips and Sim Coli playing this low route here. They've got a 2v3 potential situation. He's getting grenaded out. Going to kind of play it out in the corner. Not a very bad idea. Someone is getting flanked over here. And they trade. That's un completely unfortunate. I think Dirty, D's, Dirty D knows that. And he's going to go exactly for the revive. And that, that's crucial. That's crucial. John Boy OPP is out of position. Battle TR is going to get back in the game. Oh, unfortunately, he's not. So it looks like that trade actually worked out. So we're in a 4v4 situation. Dirty D shifted on that point. So let's see how it works out. They went down another player here. Hop in with Sim Coli, picking up another kill on Zeno. Good work for him. So he's got one guy to his left, but he does not see him, unfortunately. There's two guys down there. Let's see what happens. I believe that is Ninja in position here on this left side. Kind of just creeping. I don't know what he's doing. This isn't Assassin's Creed. Okay, he's making the play now. Playing very cautious. He sees him. He definitely sees the help. He's going to call for the help. Sim Coli is going to make the play on Gotti right now. He's just waiting. He's just peeking. He doesn't know he's there. He's going to go ahead and pick up that kill. And there they go. Nice team shot. Nice team shot. So we got a 3v1 here. Let's hop in with Jehu J Cash. Let's see how he can offer this game right here. And again, Jehu J Cash is just watching the bomb arm. He really doesn't have any kind of choice here. As you can see, though, between both teams, it's pretty. I would say it's it's even right now. Um, the the teams right now. If you if you look at LGD LGD Physical is really putting on a show here, and that's it right there. Dirty D definitely carrying Ecliptic. We've got a very good game in front of us, ladies and gentlemen. A very, very good game here. And it looks like... I don't know who rage quit. Uh, Battle TR has rage quit, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think he rage quit. But uh, he had a, probably had an internet drop or something. Hopefully they can get their fifth back in here because this is a very entertaining game. Oh, and Dexterity! They're calling in from the sidelines, from the bleachers. It looks like the the unforspoken dexterity is going to come in and flex his might all over lgd let's see if he has what it takes i want to hop in with him right away and let's see how he plays this and they no longer have dexterity so it looks like dexterity got called in for about a, a moment there and uh they just let him go unfortunately that that's unfortunate he got to put the jersey on and now he's back into the sidelines on the bleacher that's uh let's see uh let's see how they play lgd is definitely ready and battle tr comes back in so it looks like dexterity was going to be playing for him and then they just told dexterity no sorry you got spaghetti arms but it happens ladies and gentlemen it happens so let's hop in right away i want to see how sim coli plays this initial setup both teams looking very very good right away you can see that dirty d Again, Dirty D is just is just putting on a show. Unfortunately, the last game he was putting on a very good show. So let's see how they play this map right here. Again, as you can see with this setup, they're playing that that they're gonna play this four two, or maybe this this three two, and they're gonna play this four one setup right away. And Dirty D is, is caught out in the open. He's gonna play this uh, this B set on this left side right away. And it looks like Cryptic Clips is already down. Sim Coli picks up the trade and picks up Clips right away. And unfortunately, Zeno gets him. And Zeno picks up the second right there. And also gets the revive on Jehu J. Cash. So we got a good situation here. He's got a guy right behind him. I believe it's Ninja. He doesn't see him. He definitely sees him now. Picks up Dirty D. We are in a 5v1 situation. Let's hop in with Battle TR. See how he's going to play this situation out. Pressure is definitely mounting. He is being surrounded on all sides. He sees one. And unfortunately, it's taken down. So that was a quick round right there for LGD. Good, good plays on them. It is unfortunate, but we are looking at a very entertaining game, ladies and gentlemen. LGD and Cryptic, both dominant teams. Something that we want to see in the community, and something that I love to watch. So let's see it again. I want to see how uh, potentially uh, Zeno made the plays right there. Picked up two kills that last game right there, and that's something we want to see. Look at that seven and zero. Oh. You can just see. Look at Zeno three and zero oh off the bat taking no prisoners not letting them take this game from them so we are going to see a very entertaining game here ladies and gentlemen let's see what xeno i want to see how he plays this again running this scar h setup with a reflex no accessory no laser sight going with the flash hider and the angle grip looks very familiar he's gonna get in a fight right away with sim Coli. takes him down he knows he's got another guy there let's see how he plays it out ninja's definitely around the corner 
He's up on the stairs. He, he avoids it like a champion. Sting like a bee, float like a butterfly, apparently, for this guy. And physical goes down. He knows physical goes down. He's still playing it out, playing it pretty smart. Physical gets picked up and takes down Ninja. Look at Zeno just, just handing out candy right now. Not taking any prisoners. Is he going to pick up Dirty D? Dirty D sees it. He's going to play the route around. Dirty D just avoids it. I don't know what that was thinking. And there we go. We have another 4v1 battle TR. The last one in the game right now. Let's see how he plays it. Well, you can definitely feel he's feeling the pressure. He's got shots on one guy right there. He's going to play out this position and see what's going on. He's got two guys looking across angle to get shots on him. I don't know. He's definitely going to get rushed in his back. He has a guy coming up behind him right now. He's going to play it out. He's got a guy below him. And unfortunately, physical is going to take him right there. Woo. Woo. That was crazy. That was that was just insane. I had the opportunity back in the day to play against Zeno, and Zeno is one of those players that just is good. He's just damn good. I would say on the two teams respectively, it looks like Physical and Zeno definitely are playing very well. And then on the other side, I would say it's pretty much Dirty D is kind of slacking right now. He really needs to step it up. But look at Zeno right now. Oh, it's six and oh. Definitely just, just putting the My Little Dora backpack on and going in there nice and hard. So let's see how he plays again. Really interested. He's going to play this setup again. He was very, very aggressive last round. He picked up two kills right away. Something that you don't very much see in defuse. And he picked up Dirty D. And Ninja's going to say, no, sir. Putting a stop to that. You may not. You may not kill my whole team. No, thank you. And in very smart, he's going to camp the body. Something that... A lot of teams are, are realizing that it's something you need to do. So Zeno is out. Let's see if this affects the momentum of LGD at all right now. I don't think so. It's just going to get a little aggressive right here. He knows he has the opportunity to. It looks like uh, LGD has, has definitely shifted. Has shifted. Let's uh, let's see. Battle TR going to pick up the kill on John Boy, but he's got another guy chasing him. He, I don't think he knows he's got a guy chasing him. He kind of knows what's going on. Oh, oh, oh. They're so, they're so close, but he's going to get shot in his back right here. And there it is. God, he's going to say... That's what you get for taking down my boy. And we have a 3v2 situation. See how Jehu J Cash playing the B side over here. Just chilling. Kind of knows he's got three guys at least over there. And this is a situation in which I, I don't know how properly you would play it. There's 247 left on the clock. And let's see who's getting aggressive over here. I want to say that's Ninja. I, I want to say it's Ninja. I knew it. It's Ninja getting aggressive. And he pays the ultimate price, which is death, against Jehu J. Cash. Definitely something you want to see. Aggressiveness from players. And another guy down. So it looks like Sim Coli, the team's resident European, versus Oh My Gotti and Jehu J. Cash getting that revive. So it's back to a 2v2. Got Cryptic Clips back up in the game. Very interesting. Let's see how it goes here. Let's see how Oh My God, he's playing it. He knows he's got two guys over there playing that tower route. Very entertaining. Let's see how he does. He sees a guy right in front of him. I'm going to take the shots. He gets away. It's unfortunate. Let's see how Jehu J. Cash is going to be a little bit more aggressive. Going to play up this route. There is two minutes left on the clock. Let's see. Let's see. Kind of sneaking out over here. Not not running. Definitely uh, definitely sneaking. He's got a guy in the stairwell right now. I believe that is Cryptic Clips. Just hanging out in the stairwell. Just, just hard scoping this bad boy like it's his job. And Jehu J. Cash is just saying, no, I don't think so. I'm not going to be playing that at all. 140 left on the clock. Oh my god, he picks up the bomb. Let's see what he does with it. He's been running that B-arm right now. And I think both both Simcoli and Cryptic Clips are going to be able to see this happening right now. And they are next to each other. We have another situation where Cryptic Clips is looking above. He knows he's got a guy over there. He sees him running away. Let's see if he can get the pick. And he is one shot. Going to toss the, the love grenade. Let's see if he gets the kill for it. And unfortunately, no. J.U.K. Cash is just a warrior staying alive right now. He says, no, please, don't kill me. And Cryptic Clips picks him up. So we have a situation here where, where Clips has to clutch it. He has to get the kill and then disarm almost immediately. He's got about 30 seconds left on this arm. He's got a guy right there. And nope, that will be the game for LGD. Good, good game right there. Damn good game. But holy bananas, ladies and gentlemen. LGD has just come back. They they suffered a 3-0 sweep in the beginning of the series. But now they have decided that they won't take any more of Cryptic's BS. And have decided, just look at those scores. Two six ones from Jehu, J Cash, and Xeno. Definitely something very nice to see. But we got a donut on Dirty D. But Dirty D is one of those players that can always bounce back from something like this. We've seen him in the past games play very, very well. 
So we are definitely going to see some more good games coming up from LGD and Cryptic. I don't know. Uh, the next map, Paracel Storm, a good map. Definitely something very entertaining. We're going to see a lot of trench gameplay, a lot of uh, building gameplay. I really am inter interested in seeing how LGD sets up. LGD is one of those teams that sets up in a very interesting fashion. Uh, the, the Mighty Duck formation that we saw on uh, Dawnbreaker was something very interesting I've never seen before. So let's go ahead and take a, take a look at the overview map. So we got some trench gameplay here, which we'll probably see a lot of use of this trench here on this right side of the map. And most likely we're going to see teams play out these buildings here. So let's see how they do it, how they play. And let's hop in right away with Xeno. Xeno going to take the left route with physical. They're going to play the, the buddy system here, which is very good. So it looks like a 2-3 uh, set. Two on the left side and three on the right. Let's see who's picking up in the front line on the right here. Looks like uh, Ninja is going to play this mid very, very cautiously. Got a guy right behind him. He sees him. Let's see if he can pick him up. No, he apparently does not see him. He's going to run into this building. They're going to play a 4-1. Actually, they're playing, they're playing all five into this realm right here. Ninja's taking shots. He's going to hang out undercover. Got a guy right there in mid. He doesn't exactly see him gonna hug the uh, vanity grenade see if that does anything for him and it looks like oh my god he's gonna get taken down right away and as you can see right here in the overhead you see that uh that battle tr and dirty d are making pushes here something very interesting they're gonna try to take this building from going like a swat team let's see if they can make it happen right now he's got one in the corner he sees him john boy's in trouble and battle tr takes him with that AK-5C, another good play, but he's got a guy coming up right behind him. Dirty D's chasing him. I wonder if the callout's going to be made right now. It just got made right there. And Battle TR unable to kill right there. He knows he's, gonna, he's just going to have to get this revive, and he does. Jehu Jcast plays it smart, just bails out. He knows he's got a 2v1 potentially on him. Fighting Cryptic Clips, and Clips takes him. We got a, a 4v1 situation right now. LGD Physical, can he, can he clutch it? Battle TR in a 1v1, and Battle TR takes him down no problem. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. First round right away. So let's hop in again. You know, and, and it's unfortunate because Defuse really has turned into just search and destroy, kind of like a TDM type game type since the bomb is is the way it is but it's still very entertaining and you see both teams are incredibly aggressive when they need to be i am very interested to see how lgd is kind of going to adapt to this situation again they're going with their same strat a 3-2 set and i believe we're going to see something similar from the cryptic squad going to drop four right away they're going to put one in the mid right there and uh we got a camp rooney right here trying to get shots up into the mid so john boy picks <laughs> Picks clips right in the beginning of the game. Says, no, sir, you may not check out your window. And he's still window shopping here. Going to try to pick up the secondary. He got that revive right there. So still 5-5 five, five set. We've got a flanker coming from this left side over here. Let's take a look at, at uh, Dirty D. Dirty D is playing this very aggressive. He knows he's got two guys in front of him. And it's almost as if LGD did not even see this coming right now. So he's got a guy right here. He doesn't even see him. Un unbelievable. He knows he's there. He's getting shot at. Let's see how he makes the play. He's going to make the play around the wall. And he's going to pick up the easy kill right there. He has another one to his left. He sees him. And oh my god, he takes him down. So here we go. A 3v2 in favor of LGD. Oh my god, he's still being very aggressive on this set. I'm going to hop over to physical right now. Physical sees him. Zeno is in the position. So let's see. A Zeno is just hanging out under the stairwell right now. Definitely afraid of the world. He knows he's got a guy above him. Doesn't know exactly how he's going to play it. But we'll see exactly how he plays it right here. I believe it is Cryptic Clips hanging out above the stairwell. Has three on the surrounding. He's got Sim Coli here. He's going to get team shotted right there. We got a Sim Coli in a 3v1 situation. Let's see how he handles it. And immediately opts for the corner camp. And he's going to die. That is unfortunate. Looks like LGD is going to say no on that side and take it up right there. This looks like LGD again, playing it very smart, very aggressive. I'm really still enjoying, like you can see right now, uh, it, the kills in favor. It's 7-6 for Cryptic and 8-7 for LGD. So the game is pretty even. We don't have any any powerhouses, no, no big plays. Not yet. We see most of the games ending in a in a unfortunate route 
for either side. So we still have a good game. Again, LGD going with the same 3-2 setup. And it looks like we've got another setup coming here from the... We've got a, a Ninja's playing it in the backfield. Very reminiscent of his BF3 days, unfortunately, where uh, we would see the AN94 back camp. But in this situation, it's something that he needs. They need to see. They need to see an individual kind of playing this backfield a little bit. So we'll come back to him, see how he plays it. Let's hop into Battle TR. Currently in a gunfight on the deep. You see Dirty D out there on the deep left. And Ninja here is getting surrounded on his sides. He knows he's got a guy right there. LGD physical in a 1v1. He's going to pick up physical, no problem. But he's got another guy brushing off his left. He does not see him. And he looks like, can he get the kill on Zeno? Zeno is going to play it smart and run away. Unfortunately, Zeno is getting shot in his back. And Zeno is going to go down. So in a situation right there, you can definitely see that in situations you need someone to watch that flank. We've got Jehu J Cash. He's got like three, four dudes right here. He's gonna pick up. He's gonna pick up Sim Coli, no problem. But he's gonna get rushed from that mid. Although unfortunately he does not know. Let's see how. Oh my God, he's gonna play the situation. Jehu J Cash goes down. Oh my God, he in a situation right now. Two v one. Can he clutch it? He's got one guy on his right coming up in the building, and one guy still on his left. He does not know where either one is, and he's playing out in the open a little much. He's going to fight Cryptic Clips and see if he can get the kill. Unfortunately not, and he's going to get shot from his right immediately. And Cryptic runs away with this round. So again, two very good teams. But as you can see from the from the kills here, not neither team really stood out too much. You got Battle TR and Clips both dropping four ones, and you got Oh My Godie hanging out on top and Exino unfortunately on the bottom when he did so well last round but you can just say that that defuse is one of those game types unfortunately where sometimes you'll do incredibly well and then the next round you might get shut down so we'll see what happens we got another another set here of Paracel Storm let's see how the teams react and play to this I am very interested to see how they play I'll hop right back into it so what you've been seeing basically I want to see how LGD plays this left side but on this right side of the map um, I am interested to see again how Cryptic is going to play it. We might see a, a very interesting set on both sides. So we'll go ahead and take a look at LGD setup right away. Game's about to start here. And again, as you can see, the bomb unfortunately never gets picked up because it basically is an immediate death trap. So what you're seeing is a 4 1 set where you have a 1 right and a deep 4 playing this, this left side here. And I believe that's going to be Dirty D out on this deep right flank. Oh, no, it is not, unfortunately. So Dirty D is playing this left side. He's got help from the mid. We got one guy up in the mid over there. Let's check out who it is. We've got Ninja out in the mid, taking shots at someone. We've got John Boy very close to his left. He does not know he's there, but he's still he's going to play this interesting mid. He, I think he might know. They might know each other's there. And John Boy is going to take the kill on Ninja right there. And John Boy, unfortunately, goes down. So it's a it's still a 4-4 game right here. So right now, we're on with Dirty D. Dirty D has, has two players to his left. He has one player definitely in his building, in his area. He does not know. He's got one player out to the trenches. Let's see what he does. He's going to hang out in the corner. Zeno's going to come around the corner. They see each other, and he's going to take Zeno down. Let's see who's coming. He knows he's got a guy coming right there. He sees him physical right there. And he takes physical. Another great play. From Dirty D. Let's see how Jehu J Cash is going to react to this situation. Coming up behind another player, but I believe Dirty knows where he is. Dirty C eyeing him right there. And they just said, no, sir. No, thank you. See ya. So, right there, Cryptic going ahead and taking the first round right away. Good for them. Good gameplay. You can see that their setup was a little bit, I would say their setup was almost identical. LGD setup on the left side playing for the US team. It was almost the same as uh, Cryptic set up. They send four into that building, one out to the right flank. And let's see if it's any similar in this next game right here. But again, look at this Cryptic squad. 5-2, uh, 2-5, first round. Definitely uh, definitely polar opposites on how they were playing. But they are, they are definitely in this game. And uh, Dirty D, I, I'm still convinced Dirty D has been making sandwiches or something this whole game. Let's hop in with Xeno, see how he's been playing. See what he's going, running through this trench, and I believe this is the route he took last time. He's going to get a little bit more aggressive this time and just scope out the building before he makes the move. He knows he's got a guy potentially over there. He's got a guy on his left on the balcony. He does not see him. Unfortunately, John Boy is down from Ninja in the beginning of the game, and Battle TR goes down. Ninja's going to go ahead and pick Zeno. He sees him out in the mid. Good play right there. And it looks like Gotti is under pressure right now. We're in a 4v2 situation. Let's see how they play. He's got one coming up under him on his right. Does not see him. Jehu J Cash is going to play the mid. 
Let's see what he does here. He knows he's got a guy right there. He's in the stairwell, but he doesn't exactly see him in the stairwell. Oh my god, he's got a guy directly under him. And he gets sniped by Ninja. Insult to injury right there. That is unfortunate. And again, Cryptic is going to run away 2-0 in the beginning of this game. Not very bad. Not very bad. I really enjoy the way these guys are playing. They're playing incredibly strong and incredibly dominant from both teams. And this is something that we want to see. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This will be one of the final sets here. So let's see if uh, if LGD can kind of turn this around. Uh, Cryptic is running away with this game, at least on this side right now. So we're going to see how this plays out and how these teams are going to react to it. Again, I, I still have faith LGD is a very good team. They're contenders all the way. Um, you know, this is still the beginning of the game. Round three right now. We'll see how this we'll see how this pans out. I want to hop in with Ninja. Ninja's been playing this this mid this mid game very aggressively and, and I would say uh, very well. And this is something that is, is very interesting. He just he just changed his setup this time, and uh, he is running the uh, the AK-12 here with a coyote laser and stubby with no barrels. So it's something that's a very interesting gun. It's a starter gun. Something we want to see. Dirty D picking up that kill in the mid. So again, 5v4 situation. Zeno is already down. Battle TR goes down as well. Let's hop in with Cryptic Clips and see how he's playing out this position. So again, you see a lot of Scar H's. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, interesting setups here from guys. He's got a guy to his left immediately. He doesn't see him. They're, they're right next to each other legitimately. And let's see how he plays. He's on the other side of the wall right there. I believe he sees him. He's going to get shot right here by Jehu J. Cash. He's going to take him down. No problem. <laughs> and we're going to hop in back in with Jehu J. Cash. He's going to play out the rest of this building. Let's see how he does it exactly. I'm kind of curious. He's going to hop up in this mid building. He's got a guy across. He's, he's definitely marked out. He knows he's there. He went back down to the stairwell. He's going to play the low route and go under. He's getting shot at. Jehu sees him. Definitely knows he's down there. Let's see how he plays in the corner. He's going to take Sim Coli down with that ACR. So we got the last person up with Dirty D. Dirty D in a 3v1 situation. Let's see if he can play it out. He's got a guy immediately, immediately here. He Let's see. Sorry, I was, I was still on the wrong player. Dirty D here. Looking to looking to play it out. He's got a 3v1. They're definitely coming for him now. Dirty D is uh, definitely feeling the pressure. Running the Scar H setup again with a muzzle break. Kind of hanging out in the corner. Knows he's got guys coming for him. Going 6-0 right now. Let's see if he can clutch it. He sees one down on his left side. He's got one coming right in front of him. And Jehu again picking him up right there. LGD staying into the game. Good for them. Let's make it happen. A halftime score here, 2-1 in favor of of Cryptic. So LGD is still playing there. Look at Dirty D. Like I said, he's just a, he's always been a contender, playing quite well. Uh, majority of the time, you see him dropping a 6-1 set right there, something that uh, a lot of players can do. And, of course, look at J.U.J. Cash on the other side dropping 6-2. So we got two very good players on both sides right now. Something we want to see. So I'm getting text messages right now. So right now the set is in favor of Cryptic. And uh, this will most likely be the last game I do right here on Gomad Railway. Um, definitely very interesting to see these two. Definitely uh, want to get into uh, shoutcasting more of these teams. So if you guys have a team and you want me or anyone else from level to shoutcast, please let us know and we'll definitely do it for you guys. But here we go. Gomad Railway Defuse. Another very entertaining map. A lot of houses. I'm going to see a lot of interesting plays around this BA set. The, the schoolhouse building here is going to be a hot zone in my opinion. And this, uh, this outflank here on this right side is going to be another position. So again, let's see how uh, the attackers do under, under Dirty D. I am really looking forward to watching Duty D play on this map. Again, he's running the Scar Age setup. It's a it's a very good setup. Stubby, muzzle with uh, no laser, no flashlight, none of that nonsense, and a coyote grip. So they're going to play out this middle right away. Let's see how they do it. Let's hop into the tabletop view, and we can see that we're already going to run into some action right away between these two teams. Let's hop into LG Physical. He knows he's got a guy right there in front of him in the crate. He's got a guy coming around to his right. Let's see how he plays. Getting shot at in the window. He's got a guy on the building to his right. Dirty D in this middle container. Can't really do much. <coughs> so we got Ninja in this schoolhouse. Jehu J. Cash is going to go down. Take some Kolai down. And unfortunately, X Zeno is going to go down as well. Let's hop in with Jehu J. Cash. Just picked up that last kill on Zeno. Throwing the body. 
a grenade to that body right there. Sees one in front of him, sees Dirty D, knows he's got trouble behind him potentially, and unfortunately it looks like Battle TR with that AK-5C is going to take him out. He's setting up in this building here. He's got he's got two, he's got a very good position, very good line of sight. We're set up on a 3-3 right now. I've been with Jehu J. Cash, still alive, got picked up, and running that, uh, running that ACR setup with a laser sight angle grip in a, in a standard barrel. Very good setup. Very interesting. Let's hop in with John Boy. John Boy is still playing this rooftop. He knows he's got a guy in the schoolhouse across. He definitely sees him. He's going to wait for him. Unfortunately, I don't think he does see him. And he doesn't. And he's going to get taken down by Ninja with that AK-12. A very good setup. And it looks like... I don't know if you can revive someone on the stairs. No, he got him. No problem on that pickup. Good for him. Uh, I don't think I don't think I can shoutcast um, 5v5 matches on uh, BF3. There's no spectator mode. So, I mean, I guess I guess I could like switch between teams the whole time and do it, but I don't think uh, I don't think it's like possible. If they want to, like, hype should just or PX whatever their name is, hype PX whatever. They should just come play. Um, they should just come play BF4, in my opinion. All right, so anyway, we're sitting in this tabletop view. We got a situation here where uh, both teams, there's kind of a low in the combat. Let's take a look at Crips, see what he's doing. Crips is kind of like searching between these buildings, looking for players. He's got a guy on the rooftop to his left. He does not see him as he goes up there. So we're going to see a very interesting play. We're going to see Crips here running this ACR again. A very, very interesting setup on the ACR. Just a folding grip straight in a Coyote site. A good setup, but again, an interesting one. Battle TR is down, so we're in a 3v2 situation. John Boy picked up that kill. It looks like we've got a situation here where we have Ninja taken up on the road. Oh, Crip Clips just took down uh, John Boy. And Jehu J. Cash says, no, sir, you may not have it. So we're down into a 2v1. With, we're looking at Ninja right now. Ninja takes down Jehu J. Cash. It's, it's a situation where a 1v1 can Ninja clutch it against the final. There's a minute left on the clock. And it looks like right now the best way to play it would be to go straight for that bomb. And Ninja, Ninja's got to be realizing that he's only got 15 seconds if he wants to make anything happen. And the last time we saw physical play, physical just kind of went and hid in the back of the map. And that's exactly what he's doing right now because, in, in essence, all he has to do is stay alive. He's got, he's got about six seconds to arm this crate. He needs to arm it right now. If he doesn't arm it, it's going to be hella close. I don't know. It's going to be about a second. It might be a second off. I don't know. We'll see. Um... Physical has got to make a play for the crate. He knows he has to right now. Ninja Ninja essentially can just wait. I don't know if he was a second there. This is kind of a close one. Physical is kind of playing it smart. 26 seconds left on the clock. Let's see how both teams react to this. Again, just looking, peeking the schoolhouse building, making sure he's not there. He has to disarm in four seconds if he wants to get it. He's going for the disarm. Let's see what Ninja does about this. And Ninja perfectly plays it. A great play by Ninja right there to go get the bomb, arm it, and clutch it. Interesting set right there. Damn fine work on both teams right there, but good plays to Ninja. Arming, going, picking up the bomb, rearming it, and allowing Physical to come out and basically bait him towards it. Definitely, definitely very, very interesting. <sighs> Alright, so let's see how these teams play it again. So again, that, that B site and this, uh, this schoolhouse building, I don't know if that's what it's called, but... Um, I think there's like some desks in there and like there's, there's chairs and stuff. So it's a schoolhouse building. It was a hotbed of activity for this last game. Let's see how, uh, let's see how Ninja plays this first round again right there. He just clutched it in that last round right there. Perfectly played the crate in my opinion. He went out, baited the guy to get on the arm, put it out in the open. And unfortunately with that B arm, he just had a perfect line of sight on it. So hop into tabletop right away. And we got a situation where Cryptic Clips knows he just lost a boy to his right. And he's going to kind of play the position. He might. I don't know if he saw the guy. Yeah, he sees the guy in the rocks. And he's got another guy in front of him to his left. He does not see the guy in front of him that just ran by on his left. J.U.J. Cash is going to take down Dirty D. And he's got him right there in front of him in his sights. And he picks him up right there. It looks like Dirty D is most likely going to get that revive. And he's going to pick up the other kill on Gotti. Hop back into the tabletop view. You see that it's a. It's still a 3v3, a 3v, a 2v4. Cryptic Clips is just going off right now. He's got two more to beat. Uh, it's a 3v3 straight game now. Almost killing John Boy right there. Going to toss the grenade and back off. Let's see how Zeno plays the rest of this. Playing up on the top building. It looks like they're going to stick together. And this is a smart play by LGD to kind of stick it out, stick together. And this is the situation you, you kind of want to see right now. So let's see how they play it and how they go.
right now you can see we've got uh we've got dirty d kind of setting up in a position right now to, to potentially get the flank but it he doesn't look like he's doing it physical is playing the corner of this building playing the stairwell camp so you're going to see a lull in the combat there's there's two minutes 30 seconds left on the clock so this is something that we see a lot of teams doing let's see if cryptic clicks going to get a little aggressive here knows he's got a guy he's got a guy directly in the other side of the wall does not see him unfortunately so he's going to play out this rooftop he knows he's got a guy in this building you see Zeno on the roof he definitely saw him so let's see how he plays it here he knows he's there and he's got a guy right there in the corner believes he sees him we got shots here Zeno's taking shots on the roof dirty d's looking to come into this building and potentially make a clear let's see what dirty d can do he's got a guy he definitely knows he's got guys above him but i don't think he knows he's got all three he's got physical camping the stairwell physical does not get the kill dirty d just shows that that fios internet connection is just too much to handle and he can just warp around corners so let's see how physical plays this we're gonna hop right in with him right away sees the nades coming up nade just came right on him he's gonna take damage from that he's weak now he knows it the rush would be perfect from dirty d and here it comes and Dirty D makes the rush on the same time. Coming down. And Dirty D unfortunately goes down to Zeno. So let's see how they play it. It is a it is a 2v2 situation. Unfortunately, Zeno cannot get that revive on the stairs for physical because of that annoying glitch. So let's see how we hold it. Hop back into tabletop and we see. See, Crips is, is now uh Crypt Eclipse is now in the building. I believe he's calling for Sim to get his ass over there and help him out. So let's see how they two play it. They have a, a SWAT team set up, basically. They need to, to breach this. Eclipse is out of grenades. Let's see how he plays it. He, he thinks he's got a guy right there above him. Unfortunately, he can't see him in that corner. So let's see how he plays this. Sim Cole is right there, too. And he gets away. And Zeno comes down. We're into a 1v1 situation between... Oh, a 2v1 situation. John Boy. John Boy's got 40, 42 seconds on the clock. Potentially, all he has to do is stay alive for 30 seconds. They have to rush him. They have no choice. He's going to drop the grenade. And they're not going to rush. They're obviously going to wait for that grenade. Now they're going to push him. Here it comes. This is a situation in which he has to survive. And unfortunately... Sim Coli just shoots his, I guess, his finger or his pinky right there around the wall and just says no. So it looks like Cryptic is going to run away with this game right there. So again, a good game from both teams right now. As you can see, you can definitely see, look at Ninja up there on top. Ninja there with uh, Cryptic Clips. And of course, the rest of the Cryptic squad playing it out. But you can see the uh, the LGD boys are kind of a little bit more even. There's not there's not much discrepancy between the two. So it's something very interesting. Let's see if uh, let's see if Jehu J Cash can can make it happen right here in the beginning. Let's see how he plays it out. Running a very uh, a very standard setup of PP226, and I believe he's running an ACR on that secondary. Um, so it's something that uh, something that we like to see from teams. Got X Zeno there behind him, playing the buddy system out, and this is probably the best way to play. Now he's got a situation here where he knows he's got guys right in front of him, and he's playing the corner off the bat. We got a gunfight here. I believe it is Zeno stuck in that fight. Zeno and John Boy playing back to back right now. Let's see how it goes. The hop back back in with Jehu J Cash. He's got a guy coming around right around this corner. Physical is covering his back on the run. And you can see that the LGD boys are playing much, much closer together this round than they were last round. And it's something that we want to see. Oh my god, he playing up on this rock set up here to get the Overwatch in. Help his team out a little bit. You got X Xeno up on that rooftop. John Boy OPP trading shots across the buildings right now with Crypt Eclipse. Let's see what's going on. We got Xeno making the move into that building. He's going to play out and get pick up. Oh my Lanta. The laggy European is real apparently. And he's going to pick up a two-piece Zeno there, saying, no thanks. But it looks like it looks like we're in a 4v1 situation, physical helping, uh, physical helping there in that situation. Um, so unfortunately, we've got, we've got Dirty D playing this rooftop. He sees John Boy right there, just got the mark out. Let's see if he can just pick the shots. And he does. He takes him down right there. But it, it looks like John Boy is going to get picked up almost immediately. He got Zeno on the left roof. He does not know that John Boy got picked up, so he has a situation here where he, he is, in a sense, almost outgunned we will see how he plays this right here ladies and gentlemen i am very interested to see how they potentially play this ninja here is playing the schoolhouse rooftop out in the open i i disagree completely with that and he gets away with it um again just just very interesting to see him get away with that but uh, i guess in in certain situations you can so dirty d is still alive here let's see what sim coli is up to the uh the cryptic squad needs to be aggressive in this situation a 4v3 um you see him taking shots across into the window right there. Only to get a little bit of health down. Not too much. Let's see. Dirty D looks like he's going to make the play right now. He's going to get up on this rooftop and see if he can get some cross shots going. And 
we'll see. It looks like they just traded, and nope, unfortunately, we're looking at a 2v1. Dirty G tries to make the the uh, the Ezio jump across, but unfortunately fails. Snyder's going to go SWAT team solo into this building. He's got Zeno in front of him. He's got Physical on the stairwell. Physical's going to drop back. And let's see how he plays it. Physical is going to play him. And it looks like we're in a 3v1 situation with Dirty D right now. Sim Cole, unfortunately, just went down right there. Let's see how he plays it. He's got a guy coming from his left right there. John Boy does not see him. He gets away with it. Is he going to go for the revive? It looks like no. We're in a 2v1 situation right now with a minute 16 left on the clock. Let's see how Dirty D plays this. A very smart player. He's got Gotti in the right corner. Does not see him, unfortunately. And he's got Physical above him. He saw Gotti. He sees Gotti. So the call is going to be made to physical. Physical is definitely going to jump down now and make the play. Gotti's going to try to rush him. And Gotti's going to end up picking him right there to end that. Right there. Good game on the part of LGD showing that teamwork definitely trumps brute muscle. But again, Dirty D showing that he is not a character to mess with. Look at those scores. Definitely uh, Dirty D Ninja and Sim putting it up right there. And again, XC No showing that he is a very powerful contender on the field. Something that is very entertaining for us to watch. So we will see, we will see potentially, potentially the setup for the next game. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this, uh, this match, uh, this defuse match. Um, very entertaining for me at least. Again, we're in a situation where we are watching Cryptic play LGD. I don't exactly, I haven't really been writing down the um, the scores, um, but I, I probably should do that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's my fault. Um, Ink's been texting me the scores, so I think it's I think LGD or Cryptic's up two maps right now. I'm pretty sure they're up two maps. So anyway, let's 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 hop in right away with uh, with Xeno carrying his team. Last last game five three. He's gonna play out this middle route. He's looking for a spot. Doesn't see anybody. As you can see in the tabletop view, you can see that the Chinese squad, which is cryptic, is gonna play this building heavy, and someone's gonna get taken down right away. Physical is gonna take him down. He's got two guys in front of him. Three guys in front of him taking shots out that window. Grenades flying through, and this window is a battleground right now. Holy, holy moly. Let's see how they can handle it right now. Throwing grenades in. Situation here where there isn't much to do. Ninja's going to go down there and see if he can. is going to try to challenge the window a little bit deeper. And Battle TR there also on the side. Cryptic Clips is going to pick Jehu J. Cash up on the second story. And again, you can just see the Cryptic Squad kind of playing together in this situation. Cryptic Clips unfortunately kills himself with his own frag grenade. Friendly fire is no joke. So let's see how they recover from the loss of their team leader, who is now actually a zombie brought back into the field. So I guess uh, Friendly Fire is a joke after all. So we'll see how he plays it. They still got a situation here where they're playing it very casually, very comfortably in this building setup. Dirty D playing playing on his own. Very, very strong player. He's got a guy right in front of him. He knows he's there. So let's see what he does. He's got a guy directly in front of him, and he has a guy to his low left. Two buildings. He's got a two building set up. He knows both players are there. Dirty D on his own right now. Almost killing Gotti. Gotti ducks out of the way. Crucial play. Going to go play up on the roof. Dirty D does not see the roof play until a little bit too late. Let's hop back in. Again, you see the Cryptic Squad playing very strong right now. They have no opportunities really to push. They don't need to. They can just kind of sit back, play it out, and see how it goes. Ninja up on the roof, playing the stairwell. He knows he's got a guy, at least two in front of him, in the angle. So let's see how he plays it out on this door. He's looking, checking the doors, just making sure, covering his flanks. Not a bad play on his part. He's got a guy in the other side of the stairwell right now. It is, it is LGD Physical playing this low side, and I believe... Is Xeno still staying down here, playing out this route? He's got LGD Physical watching his back. Sim Coli and Xeno trading shots right now. Minute 50 left on the clock. The uh, the Cryptic Boys are, are really just, just set up right now. They're very aggressive, very dominant. But at the same time, they're, they're just sitting on their positions doing exactly what they need to do. Their problem, I would say, is their weak side is definitely Dirty D's side right now. He's kind of on his own, doesn't really have the help that he could potentially use, where he's got a potential 2v1, and I think both both John Boy and Gotti get that now. They get the idea that they need to make a, be aggressive against him. Ninja goes down, unfortunately, and it's going to be a 2v1 here. Gotti and John Boy going for going for uh, Dirty D. I want to see how Dirty D plays this right now. He knows what's going on. I believe he's sound touring right now, just making sure he knows he's going to have a situation where they're going to be coming for him. He definitely heard one of them come to him. So let's see how he plays it out. He's got a guy out in the open. John Boy's caught in the open of the field. Goes down. Now he's going to have Physical coming up behind him on the stairs. Physical's a little late. Let's see how he plays it. Going to come around the corner. Gotti's going to... 
and Dirty D takes him down right there. Not a bad play on the part of Dirty D. Definitely showing that, uh, definitely showing that experience that we like to see. So again, a lot of the action, um, unfortunately, isn't isn't going where I thought it would go. I, I was uh, pretty sure that a lot of the action would be here at the B Schoolhouse, but a majority of the action is is between these two little windows right here, like an old west shootout <clears throat> or something. Uh, these two windows right here, you see just grenades going back and forth between them. Um, you know, some window company is definitely going to be making a lot of money at the end of this at the end of this battle. So let's see it right here. We're seeing the um, the boys from LGD making the four push right in the middle. You got Zeno hanging out in the mid, just looking for spots. And again, you see the Cryptic boys putting four people in this building. They say, this is our house. You may not have it. Cryptic Clip goes down immediately, and LGD Physical goes down immediately. Cryptic Clip is back up. Both teams back up to 5-5 five, five right here. Let's see how they play. And you can tell in this battle that you've got individuals just stuck between fighting holes. Jehu J Cash is down. We got a John Boy OPP. Just tries to make the play into that building, and unfortunately, that wasn't going to happen. So let's hop back into the tabletop view, and, and we'll see here. That Cryptic Clips is taking shots. He's, no, he's got a guy over there. Let's see if he challenges, and Zeno goes down. Uh, Cryptic is definitely playing very, very aggressive right now. They're up 5-2. They have the opportunity here to just be aggressive as possible. Um, let's see how LGD Physical plays this. He's, he's just hanging out. He needs to just play this stairwell. We've got, oh my god, he's hanging out on the other side. He's got a guy above him. But unfortunately, in this situation, this is not a situation in which you want to take your time and be be passive. If you're going to push someone, you got to push someone. And they're right there. LGG physical in a 5v1 situation. I don't know if he has it in him. He's going to take one. He's going to take Clips down. Let's see if he's got it. Clips is going to get the revive, and I believe he's going to go for the foot pick. He sees him down there. He's got a guy behind him. Let's see what he does. He's got Battle TR to his left, and unfortunately, Battle TR grabs him right there. LGG physical playing very smart, though, at that end. I almost thought he had it in him. So we'll see right here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got good games between both these teams, both LGD and Cryptic playing very well. But as you can see, the Cryptic squad is playing this A building very, very well. They set up shop here, kind of just put guns out all the windows and just set up around it. Very entertaining setup and something that LGD, unfortunately, has not been able to counter. Let's see if LGD switches up their strategy a little bit here. And they're going to be running up here, going to be playing the 4-1 set again, it looks like. And I believe... Cryptic is going to be doing the same thing. They're going to be doing the same strategy that works for them. And they're going to put four people in this building in the beginning of the game. And exactly what I wanted to see. LGD is going to be aggressive here right off the bat. And unfortunately, John Boy goes down. we got Exino in the middle. Exino knows he's got a guy to his right. And he's got a friendly down. He's going to close that gate. And it looks like he's going to close himself off to the world right now. No, he decides not to. Physical taking shots. Now he's going to be aggressive in here. And unfortunately, Cryptic Clip says, no thanks, you are not coming into my building. And again, we are being shown how dominant it is to just sit up and hang out in a building. This is basically their fort. They have decided to be very dominant in this building. You can take a look at the tabletop view. We've got a situation here where Jehu J. Cash is playing the rooftop. He knows he's got Dirty D over there in the schoolhouse. And he's trying to call that out to, oh my god, it's LGD Physical and Jehu J. Cash in this one building. Let's see how they play it. The 2v5... Here for LGD, all LGD's got to do is just get a quick, quick couple kills, make it happen. Let's see what he does. Unfortunately, oh my god, he is down on the left side. He sees Sim Coli there in the corner. He's gonna push up onto this roof of this building. Kind of abandoned LGD physical. So it's Jehu J Cash in a 5v1. This is kind of reminiscent of the last game we saw where it was LGD physical in a 5v1. He's gonna pick up Sim Coli, no problem. I am very, very worried. Flashbang's coming in. SWAT team, SWAT team just came through, and that will be that round right there, ladies and gentlemen. And that was another very interesting play from Cryptic saying, hey, this is our building. We aren't going to give it up. And LGD did what I think I think they should have done. But again, look at look at Cryptic Clips here. He's on 7-1. and one. Just unreal, unreal gameplay. But as you can see, Physical and Xeno still, still kind of playing it out. Physical a little bit more in this game. But LGD has got a very, very strong roster. Um, I just think that they, they unfortunately lost to strategy there on the end of... One more map. All right, they're going to play one more game. 
ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to stick around for this last game here between LGD and Cryptic. A very good game here on Operation Snowstorm Locker. So we're going to see it happen. I'm very interested to see these two teams set up. We're going to see most likely a majority of the fight going for that B arm, that, that kitchen arm in the flag. This is a very interesting map to see how teams set up and how they play. Will the buddy system work out for both squads? We're going to check it out here. So my idea is that a majority of the fighting is going to take place right here in this little area. This, these two areas right here, I, I would assume that both these teams are kind of going to like just hang out and firefight, get the gunfight going. So on the defense or the attack for the first side, we have Cryptic who's going to take the bomb at the beginning of the game. They're actually going to make it a defuse game. They say, we're actually playing defuse this time, so they want to know where they're going. So it's going to be interesting to see. And like I said, they're already got two guys picking through the doorway. Dirty D is down immediately right there. And Ninja takes uh, Zeno down. So we have, oh my goddy. And it looks like John Boy playing this route. Jehu J. Cash on that left side over there. We're in a 3v4 situation. Let's see how Jehu J. Cash plays it. They're going to be going for that bomb arm in a second. We've got Sim Coli hanging out behind the kitchen over there. And oh my god, he is down. Looks like Cryptic is playing very dominant, going for the bomb arm. The bomb just got armed. He sees the flank coming from Crips. And Cryptic Clips gets him. And there we go. A sweep in the beginning of the game. 1-0 for Cryptic. Very, very aggressive on their part. Very, very interesting. We saw Dirty D go down almost immediately. But after that, Cryptic just bounced back and just took him out. So here we go. Like I said, most of the fighting is going to be taking place in this little room right here, most likely on the other side. Let's see how they take this bomber again. I want to hop in with Dirty D. Let's see if we can make the position, make the play, potentially not to die here in the beginning. <laughs> Last time he kind of ran out and uh, took two guns to the, straight to the face, and that's unfortunate. So let's see how he plays it. Did they pick up the bomb? They decided to pick up the bomb again, making it a defuse match. Good for them. So something we want to see here, again, with this tabletop, we got Ninja here pushing up in the mid. This is a very good spot to, to play it out. He's going to try to rush to this door. He's got no one there. He sees the guy here. He's going to pick Zeno almost immediately. And Jehu J. Cash is potentially going to go for that revive. But he probably knows that's not a good idea. So we're looking at a 4-5 a set right now with... Bomb is going to get armed right now. Cryptic Clips in a, in a 2v1 potentially. Let's hop in over him with him. Let's see how he plays this situation out. He knows he's got a guy behind him. He's getting rushed in his back. He does not see it. And he's going to get taken down. Ninja's, uh, Ninja's going to turn around immediately to it and get taken down. we got Sim Coli in a 4v1 situation. Let's see how he plays it. He's got John Boy right there. Takes down John Boy. He's going to be picking up Ninja. He needs to turn around immediately. And unfortunately, he does not turn around for whatever reason. And he's going to play this door out when he knows he's got a guy there. Let's see how he plays it. We're looking at 2v1. And that round went in favor of LGD, I believe. I believe it went in favor of LGD. A bomb got diffused or something. I think the bomb got diffused. Yeah. So I'm sorry. I'm still like a complete noob when it comes to most of this stuff. But still a very entertaining game. We will see how it is played out. I am very interested to see how both these teams play. 1-1 one, one set so far. We will see how they go. How both these teams play. So here we go, hopping back in with Dirty D on the beginning of the game. I kind of want to see how Jehu J. Cash plays this because these guys have been playing this a little bit aggressively. It looks like Jehu got, got turned around right there. So we're going to hop in with Zeno. Zeno in the position right away. Sees Ninja, picks Ninja. Got the payback from last game. Knew that was coming. So they're playing this a little bit more aggressive. Ninja gets picked up and Ninja picks him on the, on the revive. Kind of reminiscent of BF3 right there. Zeno's back in the game, going to take the jump. Sim Coli goes down. So we're looking at Jehu J. Cash. Jehu J. Cash gets taken down. Let's see how this goes right now. The revives are happening. We got a, we definitely have a medic train. I don't know if this is actually Tempest playing or uh, uh, LGD. We'll see here. They're going to be going for the arm now. It looks like we have a Dirty D helping the bomb carrier out a little bit. Watching this left side flank. He's got two guys in front of him potentially. The bomb is going to get armed right now. Let's see how the push gets made. The bomb does get armed. But we're still in a 5v3 situation. 5v4 now, or uh, 3v4, excuse me. We'll see how it goes. Cannot get that revive, unfortunately. Cryptic Clips is playing the bomb behind the head glitch, playing it very smart, actually. Getting the shots on that. Let's hop in with him. Let's see how he handles. Two guys rushing him at once right now. He's getting rushed from the right, and Zeno takes him down. All they got to do is arm, disarm the crate. And it's a 1v1 situation. Um, 
Dirty D versus Jehu J. Cash. Let's see how they handle it. Jehu J. Cash is going for the disarm. Does not see Dirty D. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Cryptic taking that round. Good for Dirty D. Interesting 1v1 at the end of the game. We saw Cryptic Clips playing the head glitch expertly, I would say, behind the bomb and kind of just holding it off long enough for his team to get in there and help him out. We see here at the end of the game, look at Ninja, 7-1. and one. He doesn't need an AN-94 and AN ticket booth to do it. He can just do it right away. Good on him right there. You can definitely see that Cryptic, Cryptic came to play on this map. Good for them, but LGD is still in it. We've seen throughout the whole series that LGD is one of those teams that doesn't give up and doesn't shy away from a gunfight. So let's see how they play here on the attacking side. I'm very interested to see. We've got two very good teams playing against each other right now, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see LGD stay in this game. I definitely like to... I love watching LGD. I really enjoy watching the way they play. They play a buddy system so well that it's very, very entertaining. But then on the other side, they just have they just have uh, Dirty D and Ninja playing very well. And of course, Cryptic Clips playing incredibly smart on that bomb defuse. That's something that I haven't seen yet. So it's something I, I definitely want to see. Let's hop in with the tabletop and let's see how LGD is going to play it. It looks like LGD in the blue here are going to be running this, this mid-set right away to B. And let's see how... Oh, let's hop in. Let's hop in with Zeno right away. Looks like Gotti got taken down in the beginning of the game, which is unfortunate. Wait for that arm. He gets picked back up, though. Good good revive on the hands of LGD. Let's see Let's see Zeno playing this side out. No, he's got a guy. At least he has but two potentially there playing that... That arm, he's got two guys coming behind him. He does not see him. He's going to be taken down. Oh my god, he's going to pick it up on the side flank. He knows he's got more guys over there going to go for that revive. And Cryptic Clips playing this flank route. Let's see how Crypt plays. Let's see how Clips goes ahead and plays this flank route right now. He's got a guy coming behind him. He's going to try to pick up Battle TR. He's going to pick up TR, but he knows he's got a guy coming to this angle. Let's see how he does it. Jehu J. Cash and takes down Jehu J. Cash. And it looks like Cryptic is up on the 4-2 right now, playing very aggressively. They're just going to close in. As you can see right now, they're definitely just going to close in. They have Battle TR and Cryptic Clips coming in on this angle. We got, we got Dirty D. The last one to beat is Oh My Gotti. Let's see how he plays it. Let's hop over. Oh My Gotti just, just is probably saying, Oh My Goodness, right now. He's got a lot of people to fight. The bomb is right there. He missed the revive. He's got a guy behind the kitchen. And unfortunately, the guy behind the kitchen is not going to be able to kill him, but he's got a guy rushing the corner. He's eight bullets in the clip. I don't think he's going to be able to kill anybody. I don't think he sees that he needs to reload. He gets one, and unfortunately, he gets taken down right there. Good game to Cryptic. Something very interesting. You see that, that Clips came around on that backside flank, um, helped get Battle TR back into the game, and then pilled, or picked up Jehu J. Cash, and that pretty much just sold the farm for LGD in that last game right there. Very, very interesting. Let's see how they continue to play this. LGD still very much in this game. It's only one down, but let's see how they react to the potential of losing that first setup. Let's hop in with Zeno in the beginning of the game. Again, I just love watching Zeno play. He's one of those guys... That, that plays it very smart, it's very aggressive, very, very, uh, very intelligent on his plays. He's going to play this route out, and he's, I believe he's going to take a right right here into this door, and he's going to be one of the first people into that bomb arm and get on this defense. Let's see how he plays it. He's going to have a gunfight in the beginning of the game. Dirty D very intelligently drops back. So we got LGD physically here in a 2v1, and he knows he's got a guy coming around on his left side, Snow, and I think he knows that this time. I believe it's going to be Cryptic Clips again. Let's see how let's see how uh, Cryptic Clip plays it. He knows he's got physical coming around, and, and physical is prepared this time and says, "No, you're not going to kill me again. I knew it was going to happen, but unfortunately, Ninja's going to pick him up. Let's hop in with Ninja. Ninja's got this left side open, and oh my God, he comes out and grabs him. So again, we're at four v two. Like I said, in this game, very much. Let's hop in with Dirty D. See how he plays it. The bomb just got armed. He's got Dirty D, last one alive right now. Got oh my God, he in front of him. And oh my god, he grabs him. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. LGD still in this game, playing very smart right there. Physical at that at that side flank. In a position where he's got two guys in front of him, but he knows that flank is coming and very, very smartly plays it to the left when he needs to. Picks up clips, but unfortunately goes down, but ends up his team ends up taking away with the game. So good for them. Let's see. Let's see how they play the rest of this map. We're coming down to the last round right here. The last, I believe it's the last set. So again, most of the fighting, as we've been saying, is, is coming from coming from this angle. So it's it's pretty much right here in this little this little uh, I guess uh, I don't know what those are called metal detectors. This little metal detectors. Most of the fighting is, has been in this area, but you've seen that the uh, 
the boys from Cryptics are playing very, very differently now. There's no one going on this flank anymore, so they kind of know that there's no reason to go on this flank. Let's see how physical takes in a 2v1. He's know he's got guys there, and this, this is kind of like the back and forth challenge route where nothing really kind of goes in any direction. Let's hop back in, and here's where the flank is going to come in. He knows he's got that flank coming in from Cryptic Clips. Let's see how Cryptic Clips plays it. Ninja's stuck in the situation. See how God he places. He's got Ninja to his left on the low. He sees him there for sure. He's got Sim Coli behind him. Sim's going to rush him. Or Battle TR is going to make the rush. And unfortunately, he's going to go down physical versus versus Clips out there. Let's see how they fight against each other. And Clips and physical going 1v1 right now. Both not able to kill each other. Uh, so they're going to Clips is going to back off. We're in a situation where Clips is last alive. Let's go to him on his cam. Let's see how he plays it. He's going to go up into the snow route and become a Yeti. Very, very interesting. You can see that LGD has definitely adopted strategies very, very quickly. Um, honestly, I think they know that, that he's the last alive, so they're just going to arm the bomb, and I believe they're just going to go out there, and they're just going to sit. There's 240 on the clock. I don't know if Clips has it in him. Can he get this guy on his right? He sees him there, and he picks him up right there. He's got three to beat. Let's see if he's got it in him. He's got two to his left. He knows he's got a guy on the bomb arm. He has to be aggressive here in this situation. He's going to have a guy coming from his left right now, and unfortunately, he gets taken down, and it looks like LGD just ran away with that game. Good on LGD. Great game right here that we get to witness, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very interesting. So again, you take a look at this here. Look at, oh my goddy, oh my goodness is right. 10-1 dropping bombs on people. He just said, no thanks, here's your dynamite, and just blew it up in the faces of Cryptic right there. Good for them. And unfortunately, that is a great game on both teams' part. And I think they're done right here. I'm almost positive that both teams are, are done. I don't, I don't have the exact score in front of me. I'm, I'm pretty sure both teams are done. I'm just waiting for the text message. But uh, as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, uh, this shout casting right here. Um, I believe this is it. I'm not sure, though, if they're still playing. Are you guys still playing? I guess they're still playing. No, okay. All right, I guess we're still playing. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of my clothes off because I'm kind of hot. So, sorry about that. It's not like I have a webcam on, so you guys don't really care. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got Seeds of Shanghai right here. We're at three. The score is 3-1-2. Cryptic on the series. Last round was a tie. LGD has taken one, but we still have a very good game in front of us. Let's hop in with Jehu J. Cash and see how he plays this. Playing the car show on the left side. Very interesting right away. Going to rush that mid. And it looks like I switched to Xeno for some reason. Didn't mean to do that. Still playing. And Xeno's going to go, or Jehu J. Cash is going to go down right away. Car show is going to be open. Let's see how... John Boy is playing off his left side. He's got a guy in front of him. He sees him off the mark. Goes ahead and picks up Clips right away. But I believe Clips is going to get picked up by who's ever next to him. Clips does get picked up. Battle TR back in this game. There, there we go. Clips back in the game. Knows he's got John Boy over the right. Clips has the bomb in his pants. But unfortunately, he loses it right there. They're getting surrounded right now. John Boy on the side here. LGD Physical is almost down. We're in a 3v1 situation with Battle TR. Let's hop into Battle TR. And Battle TR is down right there. And LGD takes the quick win right away. 1-0 for LGD. Good game on the part of LGD. Very, very quick. That car show play was very interesting to see. Let's see how these boys play it. I'm going to hop into this cam right here. So as we saw in the beginning of the game, a lot of the fighting kind of came right around here in this area. We saw... Uh, we saw Cryptic being very, very aggressive in the beginning, but unfortunately just did not have what it takes. We saw John Boy hanging out behind those cylinder blocks over there, basically in the mid, and was just holding the front where he, exactly where he needed to go. Let's hop in with John Boy and see how he plays. I believe he's going to go right back to the same position and kind of play that. Car Show is definitely going to be a very hotbed of activity, but right now it looks like, it looks like uh, Cryptic just switched up their strategy. He's going to play this mid right away and try to push up, and John Boy has decided to drop back as well. So we've, we've decided to to just hang out right there. We've got let's hop in with Dirty D. See how he's playing over on this left side right now. He's got a guy to his left of the car. I don't think he sees him. He knows he's got someone over there potentially, but he, I don't think he sees him. So we've got a very interesting 1v1 going right now. He also has help from his right. Let's see how this position plays out. I think he sees him now. He definitely sees him now. 
Let's see how he plays this. I wonder who that is. It's LGD Physical. LGD Physical potential 2v1. See Simkolai playing his left. He knows he's got to get out of there because he's not in a position where he can win. He's going to get rushed in his back right now and most likely get shot before he can get away, unless he can get away with this. I don't know. I don't know why he's not looking to his right. Will they get the kill on Simkolai? And Simkolai just not be, he's not able to kill him. Dirty D is going to be rushing him too. And Dirty D takes him. Dirty D is going to be grabbing that revive in a situation now. John Boy picking up the kill right there. He's got another guy in front of him. Cryptic Clips. Let's see how they play it in the head glitch. 1v1 here. Clips is going to play around to the left side. And he's going to go all the way around. It looks like very smart play. Kind of playing a little bit more passive. It's a 2v1 situation here when Ninja and Clips are up against John Boy, Oh My Gotti, and Xeno. Let's see how they play it. Looks like we've got a standoff here. Clips is going to be challenging a little bit. So we're going to stay here for a second and see how he challenges this. He's getting a little bit of help with hopping in Ninja. Ninja. Ninja's got an eye on somebody. He's got two guys in front of him. He's got a guy directly to his left. I think he knows that. But unfortunately, there's two minutes left on the clock. He does not know exactly how to play Ninja in a 3v1 situation. Looks like Clips just went down. Let's see how he plays against it. He knows he's got John Boy here to the left. I don't think he sees John Boy, and I don't think John Boy sees him either. Let's hop in. No, John Boy definitely sees him. He's going for the chase. Ninja trying to get that revive. He's getting chased by three people. And unfortunately, that'll be it for them. LGD taking that round. Good for LGD. Staying in this game, making it entertaining. Definitely doing a very good job of playing together in the situations in which they know they're up on players and keeping it alive. So here we go right here. As you can see that there is a set basic for this game pretty much most of the fighting has occurred in this whole region right here where the last kills in the last game came into this uh this bungalow right here so let's hop in right away with john boy i want to see how he plays this again he's been kind of going back and forth on this setup let's see uh let's, let's actually let's, let's check out dirty d last situation he ran into a 2v1 with lgd physical uh, LGD Physical versus Sim Coli and Dirty D. So let's see how they play it here right now. They're set up in a, in a standard line formation, which I believe that is going to be Sim Coli pushing up this left side right here on the mid. LGD Physical playing that deep route, and it looks like they're going to shift their attention and go a 4-1 four, a four set with Ninja out in the middle. Going to go ahead and pick up. Oh, my God, he doesn't see the other guy below him, but that's completely fine. He's taking height advantage here. He's got a guy to his low right. He definitely sees him. Taking shots at J.U.J. Cash. J.U.J. Cash is going to stay alive. He's going to a guy rushing from his left. He does not see the guy coming up the stairs right there. He's going to get taken down. Let's see if the guy on the left right there, physical, still in this game. Physical versus Cryptic Clips right now in a 1v1 situation. Clips throws a grenade, but doesn't get anything with it. He's got John Boy over there on his left, too. That looks like LGD is kind of kind of collapsing a little bit, coming in a little bit to help more. Let's check out physical versus... Uh, Physical takes him down. I believe John Boy is down as well over there. Or Xeno went down on the left side. John Boy is up. John Boy takes down two. We're in a 2v1 situation. Let's hop back in. They're, they're playing it out to each other, getting the, that line of fire together. They have one above on that uh, on the ladder, directly above John Boy right now. And it looks like LG Physical is going to be sitting out here, going to be picking up the kill. We're in a 2v1 situation against Sim Coli. Can Sim Coli hold on right here for the win for Cryptic? Let's see. He's got... He's got physical taking shots at him. John Boy's going to be looking... Someone's going to be looking for a flank of Rooney right now. Let's see how they play it out. Sim is going to be running around. Knows, knows he's got an opportunity here. There's two minutes left on the clock. Doesn't exactly know how he's going to play it. So it looks like he's going to play it over here. Very cautious of someone potentially coming around the corner. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen. The anticipation is building for this situation. Hopefully, we will see both teams being a little bit more aggressive in a situation like this. The boys over on the side of LGD might have the chance here to just hold up and not really move. And Sim Coli is doing the right thing right now, going back and grabbing the bomb. Because that is really the only thing he can do. He's going to get caught out in the open and take get shots taken out. So he's looking like he's going to come back and be a little bit more aggressive. I believe that is going to be John Boy coming around on that flank over here on the right side. And potentially, he might get Sim right here. Let's see what happens. Sim Coli in the head glitch. He calls it out. And I believe Physical is going to be coming around to the back. John Boy smartly backing off in a head glitch. Unfortunately, I don't see much aggressiveness coming from Physical when he has the opportunity really to just push over there. They should be playing closer together. But we'll see how they handle it. John, John Boy here picks up the kill on Sim Coli right there. Good game on the hands of LGD staying in the game very much. So good games for LGD right there. Something we want to see.
Anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying this game very much. Look at John Boy right there carrying. John Boy Physical and Zeno. Look at that. Just say, hey, we will we will guide this team to a victory. A 7-0, a 5-1, and I believe another 5-1. Very good gameplay on the hands of LGD. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that last round right there went to LGD. So can Cryptic come back and potentially offer up a win right now? Good games on the hands of both teams here. So let's hop into it right away. This, uh, this whole map has been very, very entertaining to watch, I have to say. And this camera is apparently broken, so we're out of here. Let's hop in with Dirty D. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. Start fixes the problem, like always. All right, so Dirty D here running the uh, running the same, I believe it's the same setup with his Scar H. I believe he's running uh, Scar H with a Coyote, no accessory, no barrel, and an angled. Very interesting to see him play, knocking out all the windows here. On the side, I'm gonna, gonna be going ahead and playing up this left side. He's got a guy in front of him. Let's see how they played. We got a 1v1 here, John Boy OPP. Our Jehu J Cash gonna be pushing, and Dirty D very smartly closes the, the car shows, so it kind of limits the opportunities that uh, LGD can kind of push over there. But it looks like Clips is already gonna go down to, I believe it was physical on that left side. So you see how he plays it. Uh, Jehu J Cash spots one up on the escalators. Let's see if he gets a little bit of aggressiveness going on here. Ninja's up on this escalator. And he does not see Sim Coli right there, so we're in a situation. And Sim Coli just going off right now. Taking two down, no problem. Gets that pickup right away. Let's see how he plays it. He knows he's got guys over there. Got another kill with the frag. Excellent throw on that grenade. Still in a 3v3 here. Let's see. He's got help. Ninja, unfortunately, not able to get that help right there when he needed to most. But he's going to go down and get that revive. He's got to be watching this door right now for a potential push on this left side. They're going to spread out. Ninja and Simcoli separating here, potentially at the pinnacle in which they need to be helping each other. Separating each other. Ninja's going to get a little bit of aggressiveness going around. He knows he's got a guy over here behind on his right. Let's see how he plays it. Kind of playing a little bit passive. He's going to be going in the elevator room, kind of just chill out, hang out. He's got a guy coming right around his corner, does not see him, and lets him go. Let's hop back in with Sim Cole. I see how he plays it out. Sim Cole I hanging out over here, going to be taking out, taking a look at the big rig. Got a guy directly to his right, does not see him, does see him, and picks him up. And picks up the second. He's got one more to beat coming up behind him. He knows he's there. Ninja's got to be there to help, and Physical takes him down. we got a 1v1 situation here between Physical and Ninja. Let's see how it goes down. Uh, Ninja sees him, takes a shot, but doesn't doesn't commit, does not commit to it. Physical has the head glitch in that battle, so let's see how he plays it. Very, very close game. He's going to be lobbing a grenade, incendiary here, and gets him. Ninja with the win right there. Excellent work. Sim Coli definitely getting the 2v1 clutch is something that Cryptic needed desperately to stay alive in that game. So good up right there. We got a 1-0 situation here for Cryptic. Definitely something very entertaining on the part of Sim Coli and Ninja to be playing that well. Sim Coli picking up that two-piece. And then, of course, Ninja picking up that final kill. Good games to Cryptic so far. Let's see how LGD reacts. Let's hop in with Gotti. Gotti's been playing very well this whole game. Again, running. Uh, we see another Scar H setup here where instead of just uh, no barrel, he's running the muzzle break with the angle. The very good gun, very powerful gun. It looks like he's going to be playing with physical here on this left side. So let's see how he does it. He's got two guys to beat in front of him. Physical sees one. Already taking shots. Take it out. It's hopping with physical. Let's go out here in the open taking shots. Got a guy behind the car there to the left. Definitely sees him. Taking some shots of his own. Unfortunately, not getting anything with him. So we're in a situation now where we don't know exactly how teams are going to react. <laughs> physical is going to be going down. But I believe Gotti or Zeno. Yep, Gotti's going to be going for his revive almost instantly. Because they need that player in the game. There's going to be a, a fragmentation grenade going down. And unfortunately, that revive didn't get him anything. Now he's got two guys on his left right there. And it looks like Clips is... is they're closing in right now. Clips picks up a, an assist for the kill. Zeno is stuck there. And Clips, unfortunately, not able to get the kill. Fighting Zeno and picks up Zeno. So we're in a situation where John Boy is last alive in a 5v1 situation. Let's see how he handles it. He's already marked out. He's got two guys under him. And John Boy is down. Cryptic staying in the game. Taking him out. Good work on Cryptic. Good work on Cryptic. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Cryptic is up right now in this game on the defending side. 
They have been holding very well. They set up with a very interesting setup, I would say. Uh, two people on that on this car side over here hanging out on the right side, the A right side. Let's hang out here in the middle in the free cam. I really like using this free cam a little bit and just getting a better, better bird's eye view of the battle. So like I was saying, Cryptic is going to go ahead and play two guys over here on this right side. And the buddy system is very, very crucial. But let's hop back in here on this side. We see a 4-1 set. Oh my god, he, along with one other of his teammates, are going to be playing this four right around. It looks like J.U.J. Cash is going to get picked at the beginning of the game right there. But it looks like Cryptic has no idea that this flank is coming right now. But unfortunately, it looks like Physical is going to be the last alive on this side. They are just closing, closing the gap on him. It's unfortunate to leave a man down like that. He's going to be, he does not know he's got a guy coming from his left, and it looks like he's going to be paying the ultimate price here in just a second. And this could be the biggest choke alive, but unfortunately, no. Dirty D says, no, you will not turn on me. So John Boy and Oh My God, are still alive here on this position. They've got coming back. So now we've seen a reversal, really, of the map, where we see LGD playing defense on the attacking side, really, which is, is entertaining, but also very funny. So he's be coming through that door right there, decides not to come through the door, going to get caught out in the middle. Oh my god, he almost going down right there, going to get behind the thing. He's going to see this guy on the door, let's see if he can take him. Picks up Battle TR, but Battle TR is most likely going to get revived. Throws the grenade on the body to kind of bait the way from the grenade. He still gets to revive somehow. I guess the, the, the revive has the reach of, a, of an arm or something. But anyway, we're going to hop in with John Boy here. And we see Cryptic is kind of falling back. Looks like the orders have been to retreat, retreat, retreat. We They're going to set up around the bomb. He's got a guy in front of him on the car. He does not see him, unfortunately. Let's see how John Boy and, oh my god, he handle this. But it looks like they're going to play it out to the right. And as you can see, Cryptic has spread out deep on the line. Very good setup on their part. They've reacted to it very, very well and have decided to cover all their bases here. As you can see in the overhead map, you see this line set up right now. So let's take a look at Dirty D getting in a fight here with John Boy in a 1v1 potentially. He's got another guy out there. Let's, physical's making the play. Or excuse me. Oh my god, he's making the play here. He knows he's got a guy somewhere in his angle. I don't think he knows he has the guy over on the far right. They know it's a 3-2 situation. He has to expect someone's there. He didn't see him when he came over. And he's getting shot at now, but it looks like whoever's playing that middle is going to come in and help right away. And that's what we're going to expect right now. Here it comes to his left, and it's going to be, we're about to look at a 1v1 situation. Battle TR is going to pick up that kill, so John Boy is stuck in a 1v3 situation. Dirty D is going to be coming into his mid right now. And that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. Cryptic for the win there. Excellent work by both teams. I believe Cryptic takes the series right there. I believe it's like 4-1-1 with one tie. So definitely good games. LGD definitely played it out very, very well. As you can take a look here, look at Ninja Ninja and Sim Coli really handling it. But of course, you got to give credit to the rest of the Cryptic team. And you got to give credit to both teams here. Both teams here played incredibly well. Both LGD and Cryptic, very good teams. Very entertaining to watch. Very good strategies on both their parts. So something I definitely enjoyed watching. But I'm almost positive that is it for the game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. I'm waiting for um wait, I'm waiting for a text message. Right now. Oh, they're playing a full map rotation. So it looks like we got one more game here. I believe they're gonna play. I don't I don't know the rotation myself. I think they started on They started on Dawnbreaker. So they have or I don't know what map they start on. I think this is the last one. I'm not sure. I think I'm pretty sure it's the last one. But anyway, um, they're still playing this game, so I'm gonna stay in here with you guys. I have no problem shoutcasting these games. Very interesting to watch both these teams play right now. Again, we have LGD versus Cryptic right now. Cryptic is definitely up in the series, but LGD has decided that they are not here to take that they definitely are still going to play let's see how they set up and how they handle these situations i'm definitely very interested to see let's hop in the tabletop view and get a good idea so it looks like El cryptic is going to be picking up the bomb again and uh ninja is the bomb carrier good for him he's going to be he's going to be holding on and pushing up right in the middle i believe he's running the 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 AC-23 setup here, playing the stairwell. He's got Jehu J. Cash on the other side, right there in front of him, with Cryptic Clips and Ninja. He sees them both there. Jehu playing it very smart on this stairwell. Not really much he can do in that situation. 
So we're going to hop in in the overhead and check out Sim Coli. Sim Coli is going to be playing this low route right now. And what you can see is both teams are set up. We're getting a gunfight here. John Boy going to go ahead and pick Battle TR. And it looks like Sim Coli is going to take shots right there. Let's hop in with John Boy after that efficient kill. And there, he knows he's got a guy. He sees a guy right there running across in front of him and gets some shots. But unfortunately, no Zeno on the rush. Let's see how Zeno plays it. Zeno knows he's got guys in front of him. He sees one, but unfortunately, Sim Coli takes him down. He kind of hesitated there. It was unfortunate. But we're still looking at a 4-4 game right now. On both sides, Jehu J. Cash sitting up in this position. Knows the bomb carrier is there in front of him on the stairwell. And they're going to kind of trade shots with each other. Ninja, unfortunately, losing that fight. It's going to peace out and say, no thanks. Let's hop on over with him. He's got help there from Clips. Clips is kind of playing a little bit more passive. Um, and unfortunately, Ninja goes down with the bomb, trying to make a play somehow on a, on a head glitch in a superior position. Did not work out for him, unfortunately. We're going to hop back in here on the tabletop and see what's going on. We're making, we're seeing an aggressive play here from, oh my god, he's getting grenades dropped on him. And he is down, unfortunately. So we're looking at a 3-3 set. Let's see if Jehu J. Cash is going to go. Jehu J. Cash is going to have a guy coming through this doorway. He's got Sim Coli there on his left. He's going to be dropping the position. And it looks like he's going to play out this left side. But he's got two guys over there. He's got one there. And he definitely saw that guy. He saw his feet. But he's got another one to his right. So the potential here is that he gets into the gunfight with the guy on the left. And the guy further to his right comes through the door down angle and grabs him. Let's see what is done here. He's got Dirty D unfortunately shows again that he is not someone to be trifled with and takes him down. So we're looking here at John Boy. John Boy's going to be looking to, to react to this situation. You see LGD is a very reactive team. They don't really make the plays necessarily, but they are reactive to certain situations. So as you can see, John Boy is going to play over on this left side. Physical is just going to be hanging out up there, playing Overwatch position, watching the bomb. There's a minute and 20 on the clock. Potentially here, LGD is still in this game, even if they are down by one man. All they really have to do is, in a sense, watch the bomb and stay together and stay alive. And they could definitely do this. Let's get in a look with uh, Dirty D here. Dirty D making a play. Sees John Boy in front of him. And John Boy takes him down. Excellent work. 2v2 situation right here. And there is no one near him, really, to get that revive, except for the guy potentially coming down to the door on the right. I don't think John Boy sees him. John Boy's got a guy directly behind him. He doesn't turn around. He turns around, and it was unfortunately too late. The bomb gets armed. Let's hop with LGD Physical and see what he got. And unfortunately, that was it right there. It looks like Cryptic is going to take that. Good for Cryptic. But still, still a good game. A good game. A good game. Good game, both teams, LGD and Cryptic playing very, very well right there. I'd like to see I'd like to see uh, LGD get a little bit more into it, but then again, you know, Cryptic is a very good team. They have some very strong players. They've got Dirty D, they have Ninja, Battle TR, Clips, and Sim Coli. Very, very strong and efficient players. Let's go ahead and hop in with Ninja, who picked up a bomb last game, and see what he does this game. Is he going to be the bomb carrier? No, he decides, no, thank you. I will opt out and not pick up the bomb. But it's nice to see that teams are willing to pick up that bomb, even though the game is essentially broken with it. So, again, let's check out this uh, this uh, LGD squad, Jehu J. Cash, in that mid. Going to be playing the stairwell route, kind of looking down this door on this left side. And he knows he's got a position here where he has to hold it. He has pretty much the only spot. This is probably one of the most crucial positions in the map is the stairwell spot because it allows this sky bridge to be played. We're going to hop in over. He's already in a gunfight right there. He's got a guy under him. Zeno's playing that door that was low. Let's stay here with J.U.J. Cash. It looks like Ninja picks up uh, Zeno, and let's see how they play. They know that well, the, the incendiary grenades on the body is a very crucial way to keep someone down. But unfortunately, not if you go for that full revive. Comes in. Battle TR coming in. And J.U.J. Cash picks up the kill. He knows he's got one more guy out there because he's getting called out. A guy to his right. Two guys to his right. And he's getting help from the cross right now. We're in a 1v4 situation. Cryptic Clips unfortunately gets taken down by a hail of team fire right there. So good setup by LGD right there to stay alive. Those incendiary grenades on the play is definitely very, very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. So let's see how they play it. I'm really interested to see, again, how this LGD squad really reacts. They reacted quite well to that situation. They, they countered the position that uh, Cryptic kind of forced themselves into the B-arm. 
and really the the guys from LGD that were on the side of the A arm kind of got shots into this area right here, and it looks like Cryptic kind of got stuck in this in this little area right here. So hopefully they can counter react that. The guys in the A arm did incredibly well and got cross shots into this region and pretty much decided this game. So we got one we got Dirty D making the play right in the beginning and just gets taken down completely. Ninja trades with him. Let's see, Ninja's taking the look over there. Doesn't know exactly where he is. He knows he's on the bottom. There's two playing low. He sees one for sure. Let's hop in with him and see how he's taking these shots. Looks like we're in a good, good game right now. Good situation for both teams. Taking shots across season, but unfortunately, he's not going to get anything with it. Let's see how he does anything else here. Going to hop into the overhead. Let's take a look at J.U.J. Cash. He's playing, again, this stairwell. And this stairwell is an incredibly crucial spot. This is arguably one of the most key spots in the game. Cryptic Clips knows he's there. Hugs that frag grenade and gets a, gets a good hit detection. Good, good hit on him. And almost takes down. Almost takes him down. Unfortunately, he makes a bad throw right there. Hopefully, he doesn't come back to kill him and he's good. But again, this is the situation. Zeno goes down by Ninja again. And we'll see how these two play it out. Ninja's playing his low part in a gunfight here. I believe that was Sim Coli actually that took down. Yeah, it was. Sim Coli took down. Uh, Zeno. So now they're in a situation where we're looking at a 4v4 set here. Going back, hop back into tabletop. And as you can see, this A-arm area is, is something that, that these teams have been playing very, very well. You see John Boy here on that position getting cross shots over there to the Sky Ridge and the low part. They've got one guy set up in the B cross. And over here, we just lost another man. It looks like Gotti just went down. And this uh, left side is completely open. And Cryptic is going to exploit that completely. Sending Battle TR. And it looks like Ninja into this area right here. Let's hop in with Ninja. He's the first one through the door. Let's see how he plays it. He knows he's got a guy to his right, potentially. There's still a guy up on his left. It's just He sees him. J.U.J. Cash is going to play out of that region. He knows he's got a guy behind him. Let's hop in with J.U.J. Cash, who's pushing this position. Has a guy below him on his stairwell. Has a guy potentially coming behind him. And Ninja is going to pick up that kill, chase that kill. So we're stuck again with LGD Physical and John Boy in this A-arm region. And John Boy is completely out of position, kind of hanging out over here, I guess in the corner of this room. He's going to have a guy run right behind him, pick up that kill, and he's going to pick up potentially the second. And there we go. We're in a 2v2 set right now, ladies and gentlemen. Almost got the third, but it looks like if LGD Physical can get in there right away and stop these revives... No, we're in a 4v1. I, I don't know. I don't know. This is this is very, very sketchy. All right now, Physical's got three guys to his left. Does not know they're there. Going to take shots at one, and he's going to get rushed around his corner. And unfortunately, lost the door right there. So Cryptic takes that round. Still a good game on LGD's part. Like I said, they play very good games. They play very reactive to the situation. And when they need to, they'll team up and get team shots in. So it's a 2-1 here. But look at the scores in this game. Pretty even, I'd say. 5-2 on one side, 4-2 for Ninja. John Boy putting up, the, putting up the scoreboard right there. Still very good teams. Two very, very entertaining teams playing here. So hopefully we'll see a different game coming up. Potentially, I don't know. Uh, Cryptic is definitely running away with this series, but you got to give credit to LGD. They're playing very, very well. So we will see here. So here we go once again. This looks like this looks like it. We have um, we have uh, LGD on the attacking side, and. Uh, cryptic on the defending side. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how Cryptic's going to set up their defense this game. They've been very, uh, not not so much reactive, but they've been very aggressive on some of their pushes. And it's something that is is very good to see from teams because not, not a lot of teams play aggressive like this. So they're going to go with it looks like the three two and uh, camper, I think, or something. I don't know what, exactly what they're doing. I think they're going to go three two. No, they're going to go five mid. So they're going five mid right away. And uh, let's hop in with Zeno, who knows he's got guys down angle on him. He's got two guys to his right, and got guys on, on this building right here. So we're in a fight here on, on the Sky Ridge. It looks like Cryptic Clips is going to be holding a Sky Ridge, and he's going to take the first kill. Oh my god, he, and he's going to be aggressive and push across. And he's going to get one, and physical, and I bet it's another on the stairs right there. He's going to grab him. So he's got backup right here from Battle TR. Battle TR is going to play the position. Physical is going to take shots at him. Both are going to trade shots. Not too much, too much against each other. And we'll see how much... 
Let's see how much people move around on this. So physical and battle TR. Physical sees battle TR taking shots at him, but unfortunately not able to get it going right there. Let's hop over physical. Let's see what physical can see. I know he knows he's there. Battle TR and physical having a good gunfight right now, both both using cover to their advantages. So not too much going on. We're in a 4-4 tie game here. So trading shots, just kind of tempting to see what's going on. Looking for the bait potentially. And we got another one down. Looks like clips went down right there. Or that was Ninja, excuse me. Ninja goes down right there, so we're in a situation now where JUJ Cash is out in the middle, LGD Physical, and X Xeno. Let's hop in with Xeno. Xeno's taking shots at one who ran back over there. He's got a guy above him on Skybridge. And it looks like, I believe, Battle TR just jumped out. He's going to play this corner. I don't know. I don't know about that. He just gave up Skybridge completely. Skybridge is completely open. Let's see how Physical, Physical reacts to that. He has the advantage completely to just push across. And it looks like he's going to take that advantage. He sees the guy down there in the corner. Going to take some shots. Not get anything. Let's hop over to J.U.J. Cash, who's in that position. J.U.J. Cash forces him back into the corner. And he picks up the, I guess, the kill. I, I don't know if he got the kill or if he got the assist. We at, we're in the position now where J.U.J. Cash has one directly to his left. Some call going for the revive. Does not get it. And picks up the two-piece. Battle TR, last alive, 4-1 situation. Let's see how he handles it. He's got physical on his left on Skybridge. He's got one below him on his right. I don't know. This is, it looks like it's the end for Battle TR. He's going to give up. He's not going to give up without a fight. Good for him, though. But LGG takes the first round here. Good for one. Good, good for them. So as we can see, both teams are kind of going back and forth, even though Cryptic is, is taken away really with the whole series. But both teams playing back and forth, playing a very, very good game. Um, a, lot of the, a lot of the fighting really has, has, in a sense, taken place in this, uh, in this B region, this region right here where, where a lot of the fighting is, I guess, supposed to be taking place. The Skybridge has turned out to be a crucial battleground here for both teams on both sides. They've been taking shots across at each other, and I want to see if... Uh, potentially the boys on LGD can secure Skybridge right off the bat. So let's see who's going there. It looks like it's uh, physical and he's got one below. Um, again, Scar Age setup. Scar Skybridge fight is uh, always as crucial as it can be. They've got one low here. It looks like it's Zeno being the aggressive one, taking a look up on the other Skybridge on the left. Still very passive. Not much going on. A lot of teams trading shots. Looks like Skybridge is trading shots. Physical is trading shots with, I believe, that's going to be Cryptic Clips up here playing this position. So again, we see the same one-on-one -on -one situation, except this time he's got Physical and, and oh my goddy up there on that position. So let's see how they play it out. Looks like Physical already goes down, but Physical is going to get picked up right away. So as you, as you can see, they're still in this game. Let's take a look at Zeno. Zeno's here taking shots across to the left over there. Cryptic Clips saw that shot being being taken there's something going on on that left side over here let's take a look at what john boy's doing john boy has one in front of him but he doesn't know exactly where he is he sees him now with the lasers so we're looking at a 1v1 potentially but if john boy's gonna do the smart play drop back slow the game down there's two there's two minutes 45 seconds left on the clock there's no need for anyone to go dying just yet and look at what's going on over here jj cash getting a little sneaky pulling the rap play and kind of just going around a little bit. Let's see if he can if he can make it happen. Uh, Cryptic has always been very reactive to their positions. Has, has been very uh, affluent in, in in the sense moving around. And, and if there's a lull in combat for any time, they kind of know what's going on. JUJ Cash is, is walking quite slowly because he suspects that someone is sound whoring him. He's going to suspect someone's watching the stairwell. And Ninja is exactly doing that, just hanging out, watching the stairs right there, which is unfortunate. Um, but again, it's still it's still anyone's game. We'll see how it goes here. We're still gonna go. We're gonna go right back into the, the overhead overhead view, and we see that Zeno just went down from I believe Ninja. Ninja took him right there, and Ninja's gonna go out and play the open. They have the ability now to be aggressive when they need to be. So Ninja is probably the person to be aggressive right now. He sees he sees at least one. I don't know if he sees a second. He's gonna have another one up there on the sky bridge. I believe that is physical taking shots at him. Yes, it is. Physical's taking shots. Ninja's gonna be dropping back behind the car. Physical's gonna huck the vanity grenade, get a little bit of hits, but unfortunately not pick up anything on the second. Ninja's gonna play it smart, drop back, and stay alive. Something that he needs to do in that situation. Skybridge is still it's still an open battleground. It looks like oh my goddy, and I believe it is Cryptic Clips playing out on Skybridge against each other right now. Still a battleground, still something we want to see. He's going to pick up Physical right there, and it looks like Gotti cannot get the revive. I believe Physical already went down once, and oh my god, he is last alive here. 1v5 situation. 
Let's see how he reacts to it, ladies and gentlemen. Can he do it? He's going to get rushed by everybody right now. I, I don't know. It, we could see... I think he's spending a little too much time focusing on one player, and I think he knows that, so he's dropping out. But unfortunately, that will do it right there. Round two goes into the favor of Cryptic. So here we go. We're going to see how this last round is played out. But like I said, I find it very interesting how teams are reactive to certain play styles. Uh, both LGD and Cryptic are very, very good teams. They seem to have a lot of experience under their belts playing uh, very different play styles, playing with each other, playing without each other sometimes. But as you can see, one team very, very used to playing in the buddy system. Um, you see that LGD is kind of playing with each other. You'll see that Physical and Oh My Gotti will, in a sense, play back to back with each other and go get their revives immediately, which is something we need to see. If you can look at the kills, LGD is, is 6 6 in uh, total team kill KD, and um, Cryptic is only 7 5. So the game is, is pretty almost identical to each other. Uh, looks like Dirty D is going to pick up the early kill on Zeno. Let's hop in with him, see what he's looking at. He's taking shots at the body. He knows that guy got the revive. He's going to huck the grenade. And we're back in 5-5 five, five gameplay right here. We've got a flanker noodle coming in on the rear. I believe that's Jehu J. Cash. He's going to come in on the backside of this building. No one knows he's here, though. So let's see how he plays it. He's got, he's got one at least directly above him, but he doesn't know he's there. He's taking shots. He's going to take down... I believe that was Sim Cole. He's got Dirty D right in front of him, and Dirty D grabs him right there. LGD Physical last alive in a 1v4, potential 1v... Nope, he's not going to be able to get that revive. He's going to stay alive, go for the go on this bomb. He's got one coming in on the door on his right, and one on his left, and he's unable to get that going. So right there, that is the win for... For... Uh cryptic but still you know lgd played a fantastic game i don't know if that's the end right there what does anyone know what's after uh ling ching dam is it zavad or something it's zavad is zavad the last one i don't remember what map we started on i think we started on dawnbreaker i have no idea what the, i need to write the rotation down i think it's zavad I think this is the last game. So Zavad is without rooftops. The rules I think are, are pretty standard to the to the defuse five v five rules that we have set up here. Um, so I think we're looking at a you know no mini grenades. I don't know about impact grenades. I'm pretty sure they don't play with engineer kit or uh, recons. There's no DMRs or stuff like that. Um, so the game will be played off the rooftop. So we will see Zavad Henan flood zone. Is that the rotation? All right, well, this uh, this will be my last game for shoutcasting. Um, I will I will shoutcast it out for uh, for this game right here. I want to see how both these games go, um, both sides of this go. Very interested to see how these teams play it out. So let's see how they play this middle. I believe this low B route right here is going to be the battleground map, battleground portion of this map, and we'll see how this goes right now. Ninja already in the aggressive position. Got, a, got another one right in front of him. Let's see how he plays it out. Oh, my God, he takes down... Sim Coli, Zen Zeno versus Ninja. Zeno's on the run and Cryptic on that on that grenade throw. Excellent grenade throw by Clips right there. So we're looking at a 4v3. Let's see how it goes and how we go forward with it. Let's hop on over with Clips. Clips taking shots at physical. Does not know he's got one coming to his right. He's going to get shot in his back right here. And unfortunately gets taken down by, I believe that was Jehu J. Cash. JJ Cast under fire from his direct rear. Let's see how he handles it. Going to play the situation pretty smart, I would say. Going to kind of go back in. There's a guy, his teammate doesn't see him. He's calling for help. He's coming behind him. And it's just it's just funny that the two guys don't see each other. He's directly behind him on the other side of the wall right now. I believe that's either Dirty D. No, Dirty D. Yeah, it is Dirty D coming around here. It's Battle TR. And Battle TR is on the other side of the wall, kind of playing it, making call outs with each other. Uh, Ninja is out on the D flank. Gonna get that kill. J.U.J. Cash is last alive. 1v3 situation. Can he make it happen? He's got one coming around right in front of him. And Battle TR makes the kill. Good for Battle TR right there. Cryptic just, just made it happen.
Good for them. So round one goes in favor of Cryptic, keeping it, keeping their streak alive, staying in the game, and making it entertaining for us. So a lot of the fighting right there came in the middle, and we saw an immediate rush for this a low point right here. A ninja immediately came down in here. A ninja and a Eclipse came in here and cleared out LGD on the bottom right away. Let's see if they make that same aggressive play. Actually, I'm gonna hop in with Zeno. Zeno was the uh, was the one who took it last round. Let's see how he plays it on this. Let's see if he can get that revenge on Ninja and Eclipse. Let's see how they play it potentially. Here we go. He knows he's got, uh, there's the grenades coming right away. Zeno's going to drop back. He knows he's, he's by himself in this, in this position. He's got a 2v1 potentially. Let's see. He's got Cryptic Clips right there. And Clips picks him right away. Very good. Pied the corner and grabbed him. Looks like uh, Dirty D is going to grab another kill up top on JOJ Cash in the same situation. So let's see how they play this out. He's got one to his left, one by Tanks. Tanks is not moving. Getting shot in his back. Sim Coli takes down one. The last one by Tanks taking shots believe that it's either yeah, John Boy is playing under right now. He's got potentially two in front of him on his right. Uh, one up top, one above A. He's playing it very passive. There's three minutes left on the clock. They're they're down uh, two five in this in this uh let's hop in with physical. We'll see how physical is gonna play this. Physical is getting swarmed. He's got three on his right. He gave his position away. He's gonna have one in front of him, one to his right and one to his deep right. He's gonna go prone. He sees Battle TR in front of him. Battle TR is baiting him. And he unfortunately blows it, and he's going to get killed in his back. And un unfortunately, physical goes down, so John Boy is stuck in a 5v1. Can he make it happen? We will see. Hardy getting shot at, so he's going to drop out of there. Not a position he wants to be in, so he's going to be dropping out. He's going to have <laughs> all of Cryptic coming after him. And this is a time that you start making prayers, potentially hoping for the best. Let's see if he can be might be able to get one or two here. I don't know. He has one directly to his left. He has one in front of him here. We'll see how he plays it out. He's got one coming to his right. The one coming to his left is coming right now. Sim Coli pre-firing corner and gets completely pooped on. Wow, that's that's unfortunate. And and still though, cryptic cryptic taking it. But uh, Sim Coli trying to pre-fire a corner, but blowing it big time and getting headshotted right there. Still a good game on both teams' parts. So we will see right here, right now, if. LGD can recover from this situation. I think they can. I really have faith. I'm a big fan of LGD, but of course, I'm, I'm a commentator. I can't play bias. Uh, so I think both teams are great, of course. But honestly, in, in this whole game, in this whole series, this will be my last game doing this, but I, I've seen some uh, some great plays from a lot of these guys. Uh, Dirty D is, is, in my opinion, probably making another sandwich right now, but I think he... Honestly, is Cryptics one of their best player, if not their best player? Ninja is also incredibly good, but that whole team is very, very good. On the flip side, um, I've seen a lot of great plays from a lot of the guys over here. Zeno, especially. Zeno is a great player. Fortunately, gets taken down here again. I believe he's going to get that pickup. And that pickup coming from John Boy, trying to get that deep reach pickup. And he uh, couldn't get Ninja, and both Zeno is still live on this position. Zeno is running away, knows he's getting chased. He has no opportunity, really. He's still getting chased. He's gonna. He has to play the corner now. He has to play him, and let's see how he does it. Cryptic Clips fails it, and Ninja still in front of him. He sees Ninja, and he gets both right there. Excellent work. But unfortunately, it looks like he didn't get all those revives. So again, JUJ Cash and LGD Physical in a two v five setup. Hopefully, they can get through this. But again, uh, we've seen Cryptic play so, so well this whole round, this whole setup. LGD Physical going to go ahead and pick up Battle TR. You know you got another one to his right. Not going to happen. Jehu J Cash, another excellent player from LGD, is still here. He's going to have one directly in front of him. He sees him. He's got the bomb, took Bomb Carrier down. So we're looking at a 4v1, but that revive is most likely going to head that way. And there it is. Revive Bomb picked up immediately. And he's going to be getting rushed here. There's just nothing he could do in that. In that spot he had a, a full army coming down on him but like i was saying the lgd roster is just very very strong they just have good players making plays when they need to it's just cryptic has just been outperforming them for this whole situation look at ninja five and oh battle tr dropping two and oh and of course both four four and then another two from dirty d but of course you got to give it up here for Zeno, and of course juj cash and oh my god he they got the entire LGG roster is playing very well, but right there, they were just outplayed. Let's see how they react on this side of defending 
against Cryptic. So most of the fighting is... I guess, okay, the world just ended right there. Most of the fighting has been taking place um, all around this map. Not much on the left side, um, but a lot of the fighting has been taking place over here on the right side of the map and, of course, under. I'm really curious to see how Zeno plays this bottom because he has been playing it pretty much the whole time. And I want to see how he how he reacts to it. He's, it looks like he's actually he might not be playing it this time. And they might be playing a little bit more to the left. No, he changed his mind. He, he's going to play the bottom. Uh, this is he's got John Boy up there too. Let's hop in with John Boy right away. He's got oh my god he behind him. So it looks like they're gonna send three down into the bottom right away. Oh my god he goes down to the beginning. And you can see Cryptic definitely has a position here. That revive is not gonna do it. And oh my god he gets away from it. That grenade, nice play right there. And Battle TR is already down on this set. Physical is getting physical in the situation where he goes down. Sim Coli is one shot. It looks like Sim Coli is, is very, very weak. Tried to get that revive right there. Unfortunately, not able to get it, so he's going to stay alive and play it out. Zeno, Zeno still up, and JUJ Cash still alive here. Zeno most likely going to get rushed from Sim Coli in the mid. JUJ Cash still alive here, still making plays. Let's see, a 3v1 situation, potentially. He